I'm so sorry I'm running late. But cheers, thank you so much for joining us here. <laughs> hey Lori, hey Kit, hey Pro, hey Michelle, hey Comatose, hey Love. Hey Lori. Oh my gosh, hey Sabella, Sabella, hey Erica. I am, it is, I'm still trying to wake up. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> like, So, we're having a Halloween party. Actually, okay, so there's today, which is what may be our last craft a thon of the year. I'm not entirely certain yet, but it's a chance. Um, because every Friday after this, we're having a uh, live auction. So, there's that. Sorry, I just hugged my cat and then hugged Randy, so I've got, like, dog fur all over my face. Um, <laughs> we're, we're doing good. The heater works! We're so happy because the basement had flooded a little bit, but it's fine. Um, so, yeah, so today we're streaming from 1210 because I'm running late um, until question mark, probably 7 or 9. <laughs> oh, thanks, kitties. Um, this was actually given to me by my friend Christina. It makes me feel like an absolute goddess every time I drink out of it. Like, so magical. Um, tomorrow, our good friends, George and Hannah, are having a baby shower. So, that's why I have a mountain of presents behind us. Because we are going to spoil that child within reason. But we're going to unreasonably, reasonably spoil that child as much as possible. So... But then also, the day after that, we are having a Halloween party, and, okay, so don't, don't judge me too hard, but I like balloons, um, apparently, and, I, <laughs> so, I got, like, oh, uh, we currently, I don't know if World of Strange is taking orders for, um, super durable shirts right now or not we did like a limited run pre-order um but you would head over to worldofstrange.com love says are you dressing up for halloween i don't know i don't know if it's going to be raining i don't know what's going on i want to dress up but i haven't i'm not ready <laughs> for halloween i want it to still be august maybe which is hilarious because in august i was like is it october yet but these are just like half of the balloons and they are uh black light reactive and we'll be composting them in our garden after the fact so we're not just like uh pulling a cleveland um <laughs> i don't stop um oh hey amazing hey, amy yeah the city not the person um but those are those are just the balloon arc that we're gonna have in the back because again it's this is a kind of special Halloween for us because it is our last Halloween with our friends George and Hannah before they have a baby um as far as I'm aware Crystal we'll see I guess it said they were a hundred percent latex which is compostable um so <laughs> um but yeah, only like maybe a fifth of them are actually black light reactive. The rest of them I actually had to paint on. Um, but yeah, it's our last Halloween before our friends have their baby, which that changes everything. So I wanted to like, I mean, it's going to be amazing, but I wanted to, uh, to kind of make it special for them. And then with our friends, um, Izzy, our employee actually, uh, this is her last Halloween, like as a high schooler. And it's, I don't know, that's kind of, you don't realize until you're out of high school, like, how special and rare that time, especially if you have a close group of friends and stuff. So, we're like, Izzy, invite all of your friends, bring them over. Oh, hey, Dana, because we have to be at a baby shower tomorrow morning for our friends, and I gotta go to bed at, like, nine. Um, so... So that's why we're doing it early today and for the rest of November and the first two weeks of December, we'll be starting the streams at noon for the auctions as well. Just because I have to go to bed at a decent hour at some point. Um, yeah, Izzy last Halloween before she graduates high school. And then our good friend Catherine, who has autism, 
uh, is like, this is bull crap. Why don't I get to go trick or treating anymore? And like, cause people are like, well, you're over 21. And she's like, no, that's not an acceptable excuse. Why don't I get to dress up and go trick or treating? And like, even at their churches, trunk or treat people were like making comments. So, uh, her mom made the executive to call and she was like, yeah, we probably shouldn't anymore. And Catherine was understandably very, very bummed out. So I was like, well, Catherine, we're going to have a party and none of those turds are invited. So we were putting on a very epic Halloween party for our good friend Catherine and her family and Izzy's friends and our other friends and stuff. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not raining because it's going to be in our backyard because I cannot have humans in my house. Um, <laughs> like, like, yeah, um, just there's nowhere to sit and there's like broken glass everywhere, so. But no, Catherine and I are going to have a fantastic time. Um, so. All right on, Jennifer. Very cool. <laughs> so, today, we are right on with and Gnome. And seeing that nobody's ever come to our house for trick-or-treating. I think our house looks like a little too haunted without having put in effort to make it look spooky, so people are like, yeah, don't go there. <laughs> to home haunting. Nice. Right on, Kelly. But uh, today we are having what could be our last craft a -long -a thon So we are actually, uh, there should be a link down in the video description. Let me see if I can get it pulled up on my tablet so I can of show you guys. Year. Huh? Of the year. Of the year. That is an important distinction. Thank you, Randy. It is our last craft a thon of 2021, I think. Make sure. Yes. Okay. And now I can put it in live chat. And now I can actually read y'all's comments. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Tara. Ooh. Um, Michelle says, how does the owl wrap choice work? Okay, let me unplug that. So if you're watching this and you click that little arrow that makes the drop down for all the, the stuff, it says wire wrapping crystals, owls, pumpkins, and swirly groovy cobs. Place your custom order during our live stream here. But I'm going to actually get the camera flipped around so that you guys can see what is up a little better. But I just wanted, I wanted to show you all my balloons. I'm so excited. We've got one that didn't make it. <laughs> That's all right. Also, I've not done what seems like a lick of work since last time we hung out with you guys over here. So, um, <laughs> look at all the dog fur, man. That's nasty. Vaughn, why do you live like this? Okay, so. This is, if you click right there, down. Right? How do I? I think I froze my tablet. Yeah, it's. <laughs> oh, Melanta. There it goes. Is it? It's going so slow. Let me see if I can keep up with comments. Hey, Diane. Woo! Well, congrats on making the sales, Tara. Okay. So over here on the, this is the website, talks a little bit about that. We are going to be doing pumpkin style wraps for y'all. In Oxana's style owl wrap, elegant groovy wraps, and groovy crystal wraps. So on all these items, if it's a quartz crystal, it's going to get wrapped roughly about like that. <laughs> right on. And then we keep scrolling. So any of the cabs that are like this that are not pre-grooved, um, we can have, uh, you can click it. And you have two options. So you could buy the cab just as is for wrapping in your own work. This is one of the, these are some of the last of our uh, root beer float batch. And if you want a pumpkin, pump, pumpkin, Cut custom wire wrap, you would click here and you would select which metal tone you would like it wrapped in. And you can click or or <laughs> you can um, select which color you would like it wrapped in a custom 
owl wire wrap. And if you don't select any of those and you just click add to cart, then that will be um, just the cab. So I hope. Um, I don't know. I'll have to take a look at Randy just picked the orders. Um, so that'll be. I haven't had a chance to look at everybody's orders yet. So we're kind of slow to start. We're about as slow as our internet today. So <laughs> be patient with us. But I'm excited to get to crafting. And oh, I totally greased my chair up. I used a bunch of WD-40 because the machine oil that I had um, have and used on it just couldn't get into the spots. Whereas the WD-40 um, sprays and it was able to get in wherever it was that I needed it. And my chair is no longer squeaking, which makes me very happy because that squeak drives me very slowly and surely insane. But now it stinks like WD-40 in here, so. Okie dokie. And we will actually be, very first one that we're going to be wrapping is for you, love, Mandy Lou. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to wrap this one like a the grooved ones. Just get wrapped in the elegant groove style. So. <laughs> right on Sarah yeah that's kind of how I feel about it and it's I don't know I don't know it just it kind of just bummed me out that I don't know 2020 sucked and I'm still getting over that and I want to have a Halloween party dang it the balloons and blackjack <laughs> Yes, quite possibly, Mary Hart. Honestly, we're going to be streaming for as long as orders keep coming in. So if things um, kind of calm down before then, I might not make it to seven. But once it gets to around seven, we'll probably be like, okay, we've got to, we got to go to bed. I was going to try to get a baby blanket made. <laughs> uh, that's not happening. Uh, I could give them like a DIY baby blanket kit with like six balls of yarn and a couple of different of uh, knitting needle sizes that none of which match up with the yarn um mm -hmm. oh that's good to know Kara I'll have to try that next time how many orders do you have so far today says comatose just the five which is amazing <laughs> it was like oh just five my fingers hurt already just thinking about it I'm so happy <laughs> Yes, y'all, the amethysts that got listed do not, like, I don't know what's going on, but, like, I cannot capture how purple they are in pictures, but, like, these guys are, like, super duper purple. Like, not artificially so, but here's it with the backlit a little bit. So, and it says for Amanda... An antique copper. Let me go grab my antique copper. Okay, so we're going to be using 18 gauge and 26 gauge today. <laughs> <laughs> Pull my old sleeves up. There we go. Now, if y'all have questions for me, um, be sure to do the at Yvonne Williams, just like how um, Mary Hart just did. Thank you. Uh, since this is a long time, I just have a bunch of stuff to get done today and maybe hopping in and out. Right on. We're always here for the replay and. Uh, we always appreciate y'all hanging out, but of course, do what you gotta do. <laughs> kind of, do you want it wrapped like this? We can do that. Uh, well, thanks, Angela. Bye, Mike. Okay. Okay. 
and I am pulling off a bit. Yeah, no, this would be gorgeous. I'd love to wrap it like that for you. I'm pulling off about 20 inches because we are going to be making this all super swirly and elegant and stuff. <laughs> right on Jennifer, I won't tell anybody. Okay, I actually need to get this tripod raised because otherwise I'm just going to be whacking the camera a whole bunch. Super duper glad I wore pants today also. By the way, that would make a really pretty ring. <laughs> So now from here, I am going to zoom back in. So if at any point, um, uh, we are, we're not doing the owl on this one. You can click on the link down in the video description that'll take you to our website that'll show you the different styles that we'll be wrapping in today. And any of them that are, um, any of the cabs that are pre-grooved will be wrapped in this style. Okay, so I'm just coming in. Hey, Lori. All right on. Well, we're glad to be here for you. And I'm going to try to keep this twisted um, in the center as much as possible. It's a little trickier whenever they're sideways like this, but it's not impossible. So... <laughs> right on pro <laughs> Randy's in a similar boat he's wearing like his sweatpants which he feels like are not real pants which it's like okay I get that I'm not gonna be like just because I go out into public in sweatpants doesn't mean everybody has to not have standards I guess so <laughs> Ooh, right on Michelle so and I'm gonna make a nice big tall bail for this just because I want to be able to fit all of our design in. And from here, we are going to pull off the 26 gauge. And I'm going to do a full, like, arm span and, like, a half. It's probably way more than what I need, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Let's set that off to the side like that. And from here, I'm going to... <coughs> Bless you, baby. Oh, there's a lot of dog friends. One, two, three, four, five. There is. Like, there's an almost impressive amount of dog fur in our house. Because we turn the heater on. So it's like mixing up all of the filth. Um, that like all the dust that's settled in odd corners that I can't reach. It is just a whirlwind of dancing filth in this house. Um Hey, Sylvia, how's it going? Thank you, honey. So I've done five wraps. Um, mm -hmm. check on her before you do hers. Uh-huh. She may be gone. Okay, thank you. And then I'm going to wrap once and twice. And then... Well, what were we going to do on this? I guess I was going to do the one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, Jade, how's it going? Then... One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, and smush. <laughs> right on, Jennifer. Is there a way to contact you directly with questions about the monthly kits? There are, Tanya. If you want to um, send us an email at backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com, or you can just ask your questions here publicly if that's if you're into that. Because that, sometimes multiple people might have the same question. 
but uh, if you'd prefer to contact us privately, just over there on um, our email would be perfect. Hey, Cookie Bell. We have not. I am doing our first wrap now. I was running a little... Oops. You know, I lifted the tripod and I whapped it anyways. Uh, I was running a little late this morning as well. It's so hard to, like, leave a nice, warm, soft bed with a beautiful man and two dogs and two cats in it to go into, like, a cold, unforgiving world. Um... <laughs> So it's it was really hard to get out of bed this morning. I know I had trouble with it. <laughs> says he knows he has trouble with it. <laughs> like other than not wanting to leave the warm, it is also just physically difficult to get out of bed. It's like you've got like a hundred and fifty pounds of dog and cat laying on top of the blankets. <laughs> All right, on Tamara. Well, thank you. I have to say, wire wrapping is a really nice break for my hands from tying balloons. Hey, Chital, how's it going? And we only need to do a little over an inch of the bale like this. I'm going to do one more repetition. There we go. And so now from here, let us grab our mandrel. And that was actually way more than what I needed as far as the veil goes, but that's fine. And I'm just bending this off to the side just a little. And I'm going to bend this one around that doesn't have the weaving wire on it. And I'm going to do a few more rotations just to get it out long enough. Smush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now from here, I can just take this and go like this. I'm going to curl that in just a little bit, just enough to make it less crazy cumbersome. Do 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 Hey, Jax's mom, how's it going? There we go. Yeah, this one just confuses me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. Okay. I'll have to take a look at that. Give me just a sec, y'all. Okay. That should be, yeah, I've got you, hun. At least I think I know what's going on. <laughs> hey, Leaf, how's it going? Ooh, a Friday off, a whole Friday. But yeah, so I just stick my finger in the loop and then twist it around. And that helps make such a nice little weave. So how much more? Oh yeah, that didn't even use like a single arm span. I pulled off way too much wire. That's okay though. Okay, so now we are going to take this wire. Actually, I may need to, to do way more too. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make about three inches worth of this coil. It's 
So you're just spinning it around. It doesn't have quite enough weight to it for me to be doing this over my head, but just cranking it like this works pretty well. Okay, so I'm not going to snip our coiling wire just yet because I still want to, I may want to add more. So we're just going to bring this around like that. There we go. So it's coming down the bale. Core wire. Hey, P.S. Hey, Elijah. Yeah, uh, moving forward, we're going to be doing our craft along a thons and auctions starting at noon just to give me a little bit more time during the day to stay caught up with everything. And so now from here, I'm just going to twist into a cute little swirly offset rosette. And then I'm gonna come around here. We can bring this around. Oh yeah, definitely gonna need more. Also, please pardon the loud roar of the heater. It is cold in the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So again, just getting a little bit more of a coil going so that I can then straighten that wire and just keep twisting this around. Oh my gosh, 91 at the end of October. Eee, right on, Michelle. So from here, I'd like to do a little bit of a twisting around. And I'm going to keep just making those coils. Okay, so now from here, I'm going to coil just a little bit more. Again, I just want to get it enough that it gets my fingers out of the way. Right? <laughs> That's true, Mamza. Okay, and now I shall snip this. Because I know that Mandy loves spirals, so I'm going to try to make this one nice and spirally for her. And I'm going to give this a snip about a quarter of an inch past. And then coming in. and making a little spiral. There we are. Now I'm actually going to use some of this wire to join these two pieces. That way this one isn't lifting away. And I'm actually going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Smoosh. in the 40 yeah we're gonna have our first uh freeze of the year or of the season rather um next week so i'm really hoping that uh it's nice enough outside on the halloween party that we can enjoy like the zinnias are still blooming the marigolds are still holding on the celosia is still doing its thing Just sliding that in. 
and now I'm going to kind of whip stitch through just behind. Where's that T pin? There we go. Wow, congratulations, Kaima. That's awesome. Iris, yeah. Our rosemary survived like for two winters, but last winter killed it off and I didn't get around to planting more uh, this year. I'd like to start it from seed. The transplants are so expensive. Yeah, what's up? Yes. All of the thin marquee pieces like, uh, they're not thin in depth, but they're thin in width. Yeah. No groove. Okay. Thank you, baby. Sorry, Randy's prepping our Monday shop update. <laughs> There's always, always, always more work to be done. It does seem. So I actually think I'm gonna do this one in a little figure eight because it hides it a little better, I think. And it's my first wrap of the day, so I'm still... Uh-huh. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And so now I'm just going to come back through and keep on adding coils to this as though we never stopped. <laughs> right on. Yeah, it's a huge boost to just existing, for me at least, whenever it's like, like if stuff's, if business is slow, if life is slow, I get like really depressed. Um, but so a live sale is like just the thing to put a pep back into my step and get me excited about existing and motivated and all sorts of stuff so I'm a little I'm, I'm unhealthily a workaholic though so eesh. the rains made it a bit ah gotcha Iris oh Kelly I bet Hey Nikki, the most common gauges of wire that I use for thick, um, I really like 16 and 18 gauge, and these are American wire gauges. Um, I also will sometimes use 20 gauge for like here on this owl piece that I followed Oxana Crafts tutorial. This is using 20 gauge, and um, I, I wouldn't use 20 gauge if I weren't binding it together at the points because otherwise it can be a little bit more delicate um but yeah primarily 16 and 18 gauge for my core wires or any wires that i'm just going to be using standing alone like that um and then i really like to use uh 26 and 28 gauge for my weaving wire like on this piece here was done with a 28 maybe what's this Yes, 28 gauge. Um, and then I also like to use 18 gauge half round and square. Yep. There were many a time that all I had was crafting. Like, Randy and I were so freaking broke. Or, you know, if something tumultuous was happening in our personal life, we'd just craft through it. <laughs> Right on, Nikki. I'm glad to be helpful to you. Ooh, very cool, Kelly. <laughs> Embrace the chaos of glue. Okay, so I think for this side, I'm gonna... Ooh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep, just keep coiling, just keep coiling, coiling, coiling. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I kind of like 26 gauge. I do like 28 for like finer, uh, if I'm doing a lot of intricate weaving, but 
I've had a lot of success with doing this style of weave with 26 gauge because then it um it just kind of covers more surface and it sits a little better I think so again just trying to get this built up past where I can now take it and just It is, Drax. Crafting is very, very therapeutic. There we go. So I just want to bring this up now over where we did that join. And right there's a little space there. There we go. And I don't want to finish the wire where it's just going to be sitting kind of weird against the skin. I want to finish it on the inside of the bale. So I'm going to do just a few more. Dude, I don't know what to wear to a baby shower. Like, what do you wear to a baby shower? Right, he's just back there going, clothes? It's like, yeah, but I don't know if it's like, because if they're doing like this like brunch thing, I don't know if it's going to be fancy. Like, do I wear a hat? <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've, n I've never been to a baby shower before at least not that I'm aware of I don't think I've been to a baby shower hmm ooh right on PS yeah Parawire is awesome so if you're going enameled that's the route to go cool beans and we can what do you think mandy i wish it weren't so pixelated Right on. Cute maxi dress. That's a good idea. I don't have any cute maxi dresses. <laughs> I'll just wear my regular clothes. They know me. If they didn't want me to come showing up being me, they shouldn't have invited me. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to set it on the table and hold, like, perfectly still. Wiggling intensifies. <laughs> you and you confessed to actively antagonizing me. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh no, Randy! What? I wrapped it backwards. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh no. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrench its little head around. There we go. Now nobody will know. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Y'all can make. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was an easy fix, thankfully. But, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> right on, Witch and Gnome. It says, once I pick up more 26 or 28 gauge wire, I will be trying out the pair of wire. Very cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just, give me just a sec for my coffee to kick in or something. Oh my God. Oh, I'm a professional person who does things. I promise. <laughs> oh my Lanta. All right. <laughs> oh no. Okay. And these will have chains added to them. <laughs> and y'all, you were just going to let me do it. <laughs> hey, patio. Oh, oh, I do like how it came out, though. Even prettier on this side, since that's the front. <laughs> uh, chains will be added to these um, in matching metal tones. Okay. So it looks like, is there a Barbara in the house? Okay. 
Fake it till you make it. Indeed. Is there a Barbara who ordered an owl in the house? Ooh. She wants it in bright copper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. So she had asked for, hey Megan, <laughs> hey Mary Hart. If you can't find Barbara, then skip her and go for somebody else. Okay. Randy says we will wait until Barbara is here to wrap hers. So. We'll do that in a bit. I know there's a Michelle in the house. Well, she might still be here, might not. Michelle? Is there Michelle? Can you hear me? Is there Michelle here? Yeah, I'll be streaming probably until 7. Okay. She says, I hear. Cool. So we're going to be doing an owl. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. That is going to be so pretty. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. If you guys want to see a tutorial on this one, check out Oxana Crafts. She is the greatest. Okay. I don't remember how to do this. Okay, two wires. Randy says he doesn't remember either. I don't remember how long they're supposed to be. And I'm using 18 gauge instead of 20 gauge. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull off a full arm span of the 26 gauge. Snip. Okay, so I'm taking one of the wires. Ah, uh, I am the greatest Vaughn. Oxana is the greatest Oxana, and you are the greatest you. It's. And I said what I said. <laughs> and then on the Randy's, you ain't got nothing with me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, babe. Oh. Let's hope I can wrap the cab facing the correct direction this time. We'll see though. Hey Lydia, how's it going? So I am just smushing down a little excess. <laughs> and it's just becoming <laughs> just everybody being like, no, you're the best. Nah, -uh, you're the best. Nah, -uh, you're the best. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. <laughs> Y'all are the greatest. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so take the trophy, dang it. One, two, one, two, three. I'm just doing a, a two, three instead of a two, five for no reason other than that's what I feel like doing for Michelle's. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> also, did anybody else watch um, today's Monster Vlog Year of Yoga segment? Because <laughs> I showed it to Randy before I published it, and he was like, there's no way that you do this for the next six minutes. And I was like, just wait. And, he's, and six minutes later, he was like, he's like, oh my God, you did that for six minutes. Silver says, why isn't this live stream on your page? Uh, how do you mean? It should be. That's where I had found it was like, do you mean like the website or like our website? Oops, I did too many on that. I'm so used to doing five that uh, 
stop thinking about it. Ah, right on. Silver says, I joined and logged into your website. Um, This is a public stream, so um, we don't list those over on the website since they're listed publicly on YouTube. Uh, we only list the private members only streams on the uh, on our website. Thank you for clarifying that. One, two, and three. And also, I want to give a shout out to all of our Microsoft Defender users who are signed up for our newsletter. Um, thank you to everybody who has been sending us emails and messages about um, the block that is coming up from Microsoft Defender about our links in the newsletters. We we had been, gosh, for two days um, getting helped by the Weebly support and there's nothing that we can do on our end. What happened is they're like, somebody must have flagged your newsletter as spam. And now that that has happened, uh, Microsoft Defender is like, oh, this is spam, better not open it. And it's like, it's a link to a YouTube video, <laughs> like, and links to like our website. So, um, but since I don't use or have Microsoft Defender, I'm not able to go in and like contest it, uh, that I've been able to figure out yet. So if anybody who uses Microsoft Defender, if you get one of those warnings, um, if you click to the, uh, more information or learn more, uh, I think there's a spot in there where you can report it as not spam, um, which if anybody wants to take the time to do that, that'd be amazing because I, I can understand how frustrating it is to, um, to get emails and stuff and then be flagged and it's just, just frustrating. Um, also, I can't figure out how to get our unsubscribe button to work. So we have a nice little message down there at the bottom of all of our newsletters now being like, hey, if you want to unsubscribe, just reply stop. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Um, but I cannot for the life of me figure out. I guess that's the next thing I'm going to have to sit uh, through Weebly support and try to figure out is how to get my unsubscribe button to work. Ah, right on, Janine. Did you play balloon game? <laughs> right on. Uh, Kelly says, I had a note from my Avast before, but it hasn't since then. Right on. Ah, right on, Black Onyx. Thank you so much. But I think what happened is since our unsubscribe button doesn't work, I worry that maybe some folks flagged us as spam, which, I mean, it's... I get so frustrated whenever I get emails from places that it's like, dude, just take me off your list. And there's no place to click to get taken off the list. So I really understand people's frustration with that. But also, I'm not a spam bot. Don't yell at me. <laughs> okay, so I've done two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to do 13 just because I like that number. <laughs> Craft a long time in my time. Uh, my current time is 12.58 in the afternoon. So I think we're central time as well. <laughs> hey, Antoinette. Um, I don't know what songs I hum either. It's just, I guess I have a song in my heart. And now yeah, we're going to... Shaman, Shaman, Shaman King? Yeah, because it's I got the wind and the hair and the bugs in my teeth and my friend by my side. Do, 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 do. Or something. I don't know. I like the older... Huh? Yeah, but <laughs> Randy knows more of this song than I do. Right on, Janine. Didn't have a balloon. Had a good time anyways. I had a very good time. But Randy was like, oh my god. <laughs> At, um, He couldn't believe that I was doing that for 10 minutes. But it's fine. It's yoga plus balloon game. Mm 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Though I do have carpet burn on my elbows <laughs> from rolling around on the floor. Um, totally worth it, though. Okay, so now I've done five wraps around the four core wires. Give it a smush. Give it a squish. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. And we're going to bend out the sides here. <laughs> right on. Well, then I will definitely start bothering Weebly about how to get that fixed. Trying to get stuff out of the way of my reading wire. Because now we will go... She weaves with half round. I'm all out of half round. So... Well, I got some vintage bronze, but... Hello, my love. Um, this one's done. Oh my goodness. We're gonna be, we're gonna be busy today, huh? Like that. So it looks good. Thank you. I see. Oh, and I keep it in the tripod. Give it a smush and a squish. And now we want to start kind of measuring against our stone to see how far down we want to do that wrapping. So I think. I think like this is going to be the best positioning. I'm going to try to zoom back in. I don't want to like miss anything. It's I, I don't have the information in front of me right now, Pro. If you want to send us an email, uh, then I can reply to you with like the screenshots that have been sent to me. But I don't know a whole lot about it because I don't use Defender. I've been getting uh, just information from other folks of what they've been experiencing. But it's, I don't know how to make my links any more valid than it just being a link from YouTube. Like, hey, Cookie, they are not. Um, most of those cabs were going out to our Craft Along Club members and our Pumpkin Patch wire wrapping kits. Um, and Monday's shop update is actually, like, just straight, um, Labradorite and Amethyst. Some really nice dark deep purple Amethyst. Okay, and so now I'm gonna... Bind this off doing just 10 wraps on one side. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to bring it around to make sure that any little pokey bit will be between the wire and the cap. He's moderating the comments, so he'll see that. <laughs> the disrespect. Okay. I always get messed up on the eyes on these things, so give me just a minute to clear some space because I'm getting like claustrophobic for some reason.
Okay. So from here, we will take, of course, we have two stick mandrels that I'm going to be using instead of my mandrel pliers. And I want to get this positioned like so. So we'll do a little bend right there <clears throat> and a little bend right there and we'll bring them across. And kind of down a bit. Oops, bump in the tripod. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, Elijah. That's so kind of you. What up, babe? Two bunch of string pins. It's apparently my favorite one. Doesn't completely dry. Oh no, Tara. Oh, that does suck. Okay, now I'm going to use the thickest section of my large stick mandrel to make the first stage of the eye. And then I'm going to come in from the other side and do that again. Getting my wires untangled. Oh, Nightbot is a robot that just, um, like an internet robot. I don't know, Randy set it up, he's a wizard. Um, but it tells, like, links and stuff. Like, Randy programmed it with things that it's supposed to say periodically. Or, like, if you do, if you type in, like, exclamation point mail, um, it'll, like, tell you our P.O. box. And if you do, like, I don't know, excited mark, um, I don't know, Randy set a whole bunch of them up. Um, <laughs> can you rename Nightbot? I don't know. Hey, dude, I just work here. Like, <laughs> we probably could. You're a wizard, Randy. You're a wizard, Randy. A hairy, hairy wizard. <laughs> okay, so now... We can come in. There's like the main part of the eyes. And now this is the part that I always have trouble with. And that's getting like the pupils to not make him look like uh, he's having a rough time of it. So I am, I think, actually going to use my mandrel pliers for this. Just because it will let me hold the wire. And yep, just coming around like that. And then I'm going to reposition and have it come down the rest of the way. <laughs> Terrace is all, man. I thought it was really Randy this whole time. It is kind of. It's just past Randy programmed it. <laughs> so. Okay, so now we can bring this in. Ooh, look at his little eyes. Oh, he's such a cutie pie. Right? Hey, I'm sorry. How's it going? I feel like it's been ages since we've seen you. Okay, and I've got some more of our scrap. Not really scrap. I was just using it. Um, but we have more of our 26 gauge. And so I am going to come in and 
do a figure eight weave. So there's one, two, three, and I'm going to leave the tail wire on this until I get it stabilized. Um, there's that, and then I'm going to come through with one, two, and one, two, one, two, and one, two. Okay, that should be enough for it to be stabilized. Now I'm going to get in here and do a snip. Um, super chat, uh, we get 70% of that. Which honestly isn't too far off from if somebody were to make like a PayPal donation or something. Because like for all of our $1 subscribers through our subscription we get like 60 cents or something. After all the processing fees and everything. So. But I appreciate it. Y'all could be throwing pennies at me. Huh? We get 40 cents. Oh, okay. Randy says we get 40 cents. So, well, y'all could be pennies at me and I'd be grateful. I'd be like, ooh, pennies, shiny. Okay. So we're going to come around and I'm going to do just three to bind off on this side. There's one. I thought you said you had your sound off, honey. I do. What's that noise? It's a vibration. Why is that happening? Because I'm doing about seven me know when a thing happens. That's fair. It just freaking me out is all because we never have our sound on. So I'm like, ah, it's happening. <laughs> okay, so there's that with those guys. Trying to keep the eyeballs from getting all wonky. So now from here. I'm going to use my flat nose pliers to, I'm going to start the bend on the side. And then I'm just going to use the thinnest part of my plier tips to fold those up. And I don't think I'm doing this the exact same way that Oksana did. But she's just, like, so naturally good at it. But doing, like, neat and tidy stuff. And has such a hard time doing things the same way every time, apparently. Okay. So we're going to put the stone back up in there. And... I'm going to, mm, I see what I did, okay, that'll be alright, I think it's still cute, so we're going to bring that up, and that up, and I'm going to give them each a snip about half an inch, because we don't, we don't need a lot, set this stuff off into my side scrap bin, Right, Leaf? <laughs> the struggle is real. I'm going to put a training bend in it so that it will land roughly where I want it to. Then just bringing it around. Mm hmm. Again, with that training bend, bringing it up and through. Oops. It's okay if your pliers slip. It happens. Okay, and I'm going to snip. Right? But she does. She's a little spitfire, though.
There we go. Just getting that tidied up. And now from here, we get to do his little wangs. <laughs> Okay, so now from here, we're just going to fold up from those two wires that were coming from behind. And this is what's going to kind of hold his butt in place. Um, not his gumdrop buttons. There we go. And again from here, I don't know why I feel like my space is so like congested today. It has nothing to do with the tower that looms over your head. <laughs> no, it's it's directly in front of me. It's just everything feels very like dark and heavy. And like I'm constantly Butting up against something. Do, 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 do. There we go. So let's see, what did we do with that wire? There it is. So now from here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and smush. Oh, uh, hey, Tashers. Um,. really oh no well we didn't really see any nasty messages but um i think we got it all taken care of i'm not certain that was a little out of the ordinary it's like why didn't she just okay. yeah we were like i wonder what's up that she didn't just send us an email if, if she needed something but Thanks, Silver. This is an Oxana Crafts design that I just fell in love with and absolutely love using our fused glass cabs with just to, you know, shamelessly self-promote a little bit. So I'm going to do three. There's one, two, and three wraps on this side. Whoops. And now ten more wraps. There's. I think it's because I'm wearing sleeves. Having arms is really freaking me out right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, I haven't fully acclimated to, like, it being cold yet. So, like, I'm wearing sleeves and I'm like, ah, why are my arms trapped? <laughs> um, Silver says, can you tell me about how you choose the color of the wire? Do you prefer the copper color as opposed to silver or is silver harder to work with? Um, well, today I'm working with wire that was selected by the customers. Um, but I found, uh... Typically, silver's more expensive because um, even from Parawire, oops, it's silver plated. So it's a copper core that's been plated in pure silver and then enameled. So it still has, um, you know, that bit of silver in it, which can uh, make it uh, a bit more expensive. Enough that I, I feel the pinch sometimes. Um, but for the most part, I just go with what I think will look nice with the stone or what a customer requests or. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, but if you're, if it were down to just working between bare copper and sterling silver, I would actually prefer sterling silver for working with. Both can be heat annealed so that they become nice and soft and supple, um, and both can be like soldered and stuff. So it it really just becomes a a color preference. And I really do like silver. I just it's expensive. <laughs> it 
And I think I'd like to start offering actually in 2022 um, sterling silver options for some of our designs. Just because I have been getting requests from a few folks. What up, baby? Yeah. Because for the longest time, um, we, you know, selling out of our booth, we were typically selling at, like, anime conventions or things like that, where it's, like, our main price point was, like, $5. Um, so it's it was expensive if we were charging 20 for it. So uh, that's why we used so much enameled wire, because it gave us what we felt like was a quality product but that we could sell at a significantly lower uh, price point um, you know because it's it's fun to to go to a convention and be able to buy something pretty that's not going to turn you green even whenever you're on like a high school or a college college kids budget okay so we got his little wings wrapped around there Pear wire is very addicting. Right on, Silver. Well, um, we actually, I think, did a, yeah, we did a tutorial recently about how I shop on Pear wire and kind of how, like, I navigate and stuff. So hopefully that might be helpful to you. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here and just feed this wire through the back. And before I pull down nice and tight, I'm going to do it on both sides. That way, we can kind of get everything through there. Right on, Pi. Well, because it, it, it can always get confusing whenever it's like, okay, their website was this way and now it's this way. Um, like, so I get it. Doing a snip. Doing a snip. There we are. I can't hear you. What'd you say? Is it cool if I knock you down to like 65? Sure. And there we are, their little owl. And we can even bring these loops in just a little tighter. I just want to curl that around some. And kind of smush it in. There we go. With the flat of our pliers. So again, grabbing and just curling it around there we go and now there's no wiggle in the stone and there you are Michelle I hope you like it I really liked making it for you you like it thank you baby I hope Michelle likes it that's the important part because it's hers <laughs> huh Sorry guys. <laughs> There's not even anybody here. <laughs> like I don't know. Oh, can I get hugs after you get done borking? Oh my gosh, I'm stretching. It feels so nice. There's nothing out there. <gasps> There's nothing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey. Cut my hair and tell me I'm pretty. No, both, no, not like that. Okay. Don't pluck out my eyeball. You don't see? What's that from? That's what I've been doing. What you been, oh, you've been writing on bags. I've been salvaging bags. Because we're out. Oh, no. <laughs> Are we really? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no. Get, I'll be, I'll be right back, y'all. Randy. I need you to talk to me about student loan debt so it scares me out of having the hiccups. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know it didn't work. <laughs>
cheese. We're here. Sorry, I'm struggling with the hiccups. <laughs> hey, Itsy Bitsy. Okay, I think that worked. Shoo wee. The stream crashed and then I got the hiccups. What's the quarter trick? <laughs> oh. Oh my. Okay. Is there a Cheyenne Womack in the house? Ooh. She would like it in bright silver with the point up. Let me go get the cab for that, or the wire for that. Okay. I always cured my hiccups. Right on. Well, I don't need my diabetes flaring up. <laughs> right on. Okay. Let's see. This is amethyst. And, like, it is a gorgeous piece of amethyst. Ooh, thank you. I made that. I liked making that one. Let's not do this again, buddy. I think the neighbors exist, and that's really making him angry. <laughs> I'm actually going to take this off. <laughs> okay, so we are going to pull about 24, you know, like 30 inches. There we go. And this is 18 gauge. Can you give us an idea of the general price point of this amethyst that you're wrapping? This amethyst was for sale on our website for, looks like Randy had it priced at $17. I hear you, kitty. I gotta go let the cat out. She rang the bell. Yeah, that was one of the most expensive ones on our website. You can't just ring the bell and run off. You say I'm not allowed to keep barking at people. Don't look at me like that. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, yeah, this was probably the most expensive, one of the most expensive cabs we've had on our website in a while. And then it's $20 for... The wrap job. Really? Okay, that's fair. Well, so long as you're out on the porch barking at people with them, then it's okay. And I like to get the wire nice and, like, straight. I still don't have any nylon gel pliers because I'm a bum. But I need to get some. And I really like the 18 gauge because it just nestles... Yeah, my Pavlovian kitty. <laughs> Randy just... I, I don't know if he was still trying to scare the hiccups out of me, but he was just like, bah! like, jumped in front of the window and like a big sumo squat was and it was hilarious because Randy typically does not move like that. <laughs> right on. Well, we keep a bell on the doorknob because I like I can hear it through like to the ends of the house if the front door opens, um, just because of the high pitched little bell. Um, and it's not like annoying or anything. It's just a very piercing sound. Um, and so whenever we let the cats or the dogs in and out, the bell would jingle. So the cat got kind of figured out that if she reached up and smacked it because also you, you could like jingle it a bit whenever she wanted to go out and then like I'd be like come smack the bell like and like kind of play with her with it and then once she smacked it I would open the door and let her out so now it's just hanging there and we've got one on the front door and the back door so um when we smack it or when she smacks it we we let her out so 
It's uh, any way that we can overcome that communication barrier. Ooh, Megan says, where do you buy your chains for necklaces like you used for the pumpkin patch? I saw you put the ring lord on your toolkit selection. I just wasn't sure if it was the same. Yep. Um, we actually have a tutorial about how we shop for chain from the ring lord, like specifically which designs, um, like which gauges and stuff that we use. <laughs> You say that till Randy actually goes and barks with them. Well. See, did you work on that too? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how groovy, groovy wraps are as easy as that, you guys. Everything else from here is just decorative. So I am going to use our right on, Megan. I do hope it'll be helpful to you. So spiraling it down and then around and coming around again He's wrestling with a tree. Why would he be doing that? I don't know. I just like that he's outside. Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, God, he can hear. Oh, he can hear me. <laughs> he's got his headphones on. I didn't know, realize they reached out that far. And here we see the wild Randy in his natural habitat. <laughs> it's okay, Randy. I don't have the camera on you. Nobody can actually see what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that really cute. I love the layers of the swirls. So now from here, oh no, one of these is significantly longer than the other. Um, from here, we shall take Hello, old heart. How have you been? I'd show them, but oh Let gosh, the yeah, because oh, I'll risk it. Y'all, there's a cat in my tree. <laughs> it's your cat. Yeah. Oh, she's getting up real high. <laughs> Do y'all see her goofy ass? That's the highest I've ever seen her. She normally stops like down here, but now she's right up there. Just a cat in a tree. Oh no. I don't know what she's slapping at. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I tried. How have you been? This is her season though. She she just matches autumn leaves so well. She is beating the heck out of that black walnut. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh you're kind of fat Callie you can't do that you bit big for that branch girl <laughs> that tree's bending <laughs> oh she, she brings me so much joy I'm glad to share an existence with her hello my old heart Looking at you, I see you. Hey, Cali Cat. You can say that. 
still in the tree, y'all. <laughs> no one to share it with you. I don't know why she just gets so mad and starts biting it. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hey, Randy, I had another idea for uh, Halloween costumes. Oh boy. So, like, I could be Elton Vaughn for Halloween because I've got some, like, silly sunglasses and stuff. Um, and then Randy was like, well, you could be Genghis Vaughn because I've been watching a, long, a lot of Genghis Khan documentaries. Um, and then I was like, I could be Vaughn Ross if I put on, like, a wig and a Bob Ross outfit and, like, that would be another costume. But then Randy, the one that I thought of this morning, was we could both dress up as Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> but it's we could be Macho Man Randy Vaughn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And just, because, okay, because when her niece Maddie was little, she would call us both Randy Vaughn. Because the family would be like, well, Randy and Vaughn are coming over. Or Randy and Vaughn are doing this. And so she would hear it as, um, Randy Vaughn. And we were in the pool, uh, one time at somebody's house. They had a, a above ground pool in their backyard and we were playing Marco Polo. And we went Marco, or Randy went Marco and I went Polo and she went Randy Vaughn. And it was just so cute. We, we like died a million deaths in our bitter little hearts. Um, and so ever since then in like the family's phone and stuff, since Randy and I share a phone, um, number, uh, it's they've always just put us in as Randy Vaughn, so that's why I was like Macho Man Randy Vaughn. Yeah. So now I'm just getting in here and tucking in that end. Loose end of the wire. I'm going to come through right there and do it again. So I probably trimmed off or got more wire than I needed, but I put this in my scrap bin. <laughs> right on, Elijah. Well, we'll be here for the replay always. And then we could be Randy Hood and Little Vaughn. That'd be a cute one, Randy. I don't know how much more of the Little John type of thing. Not so much the rap letter. That's fair. So there we are with Cheyenne's. What have I missed? I don't know. What did, what? Chat, Post what are you doing? <laughs> Puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Silver. I didn't mean to miss your question. One more question about the pyre wire. Can you apply heat butane torch to the ends and make a little decorative ball like you can with sterling? No. Um, it will cook off of the enameling. Now, they're bare wire. You can do that, too. And they're silver filled. You can do that, too. But the heat um, just cooks off the enameling. Mm -hmm. So, I haven't heard back from Cheyenne, but I really hope that she likes it. I really liked making it. Oh no, why am I in top chat? Mm -hmm. Right on. And also, I mean, because I have used it just because I didn't have any bare wire at the time to practice making, like, ball-tipped um, wires and, like, ball head pins. And the enamel will, like, kind of pop and stuff. So, kind of watch out for that. 
Oh, well, thanks, you guys. I really, really like it. I love using the 18 gauge in these grooved pieces. Just a nice sleek. Mm. Order up, my love. I need like 1,200 kisses. Oh, Sam's here. He's gonna give him kisses, and he can't count. Mm. You're a good boy. Look how precious he says. I have all your kisses, man. <laughs> I have your woman, Outlander. <laughs> Okay, who's up next? Is there a Rhonda in the house? It looks like we have another custom help out. Me, Rhonda, help, help me, Rhonda. Ooh. Huh? Right on. Well, thanks, Silver. I like it too. Okay, she wants an owl and antique copper. Let's see if I can't find. Is she here? Mm hmm. You should really skip them until, because you started at noon. I did. People are still at work and stuff. Well, but it also said in the comments or of the, like in the description that we'd be starting at noon. I know. Okay. Skip her and find somebody who okay. is here. Well, this is the second person to have skipped then. I know. Okay. Okay, well, is there a... Amy, you're here, right? <laughs> Maybe? Is there an amazing Amy in the house? Do, 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 do. Right, Kara? Fortunately. <laughs> um, Kelly says, which gauge wires? Um... My chat's like way far behind. Very cool. Um, would you like point up or point down? Honestly, good either way. The flash shows off pretty well. No, she's not in the tree anymore. Ooh, okay. Um, I know. I kind of want to do it point down. Let's see. What color is this? Antique silver. Yes. I'm going to trim about 20 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and do our bend in the center. And one side is always a little flatter than the other whenever I do the bend. So I like to come in on both sides and make sure that our V is nice and straight. And then we can kind of just put that in there. And then give it a twist. cinch in a little bit deeper and Kelly I am using 18 gauge and 26 gauge for this <laughs> ah right on peace did you like it I hope well, you could use 24 gauge or 28 gauge. Um, that's really just for the coiled part. 
<laughs> right on. <laughs> I'm glad y'all get me with your gnome. <laughs> okay, and then one more twist coming up. And then I'm just trailing down. And this is following loosely with our, um, oh, for the owl, uh, I was using 20 or 18 gauge. In her tutorial, Oxana uses a 20 gauge. around and now we're gonna do our coiling on this section hmm. whenever we rearrange this craft room I really need to get it to where my pegboard for wire is directly above my work surface again um, and it looks like we're gonna be using 28 gauge because that's what's directly next to me and six Oh, I'm so glad that you like it, Peace Wolf. Okay, I think I can turn that fan off now. The uh, WD-40 fumes aren't so bad. The pendants don't explain the kill. Dear, please experiment. Don't make the pendants ugly. Right? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, thank you, Silver. I've actually been wearing the same nail polish cover color for almost a year. Um, it's like reflecting pool or something. Ooh, you know, as soon as I say that, uh, the WD-40 fumes. Nope. Fan is back on. Coiling, 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 making lots of coils, coiling. Hmm. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 <laughs> life goes down the drain. What? Where are you? There's enough of a time delay. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, oh no, you're, you're good, Silver. It is... I'll go grab the bottle of it. I can't remember. And oddly enough, not only do I love wearing this nail polish, but I like painting dragon eyes with it too. Um, especially since Grey's Anatomy by Wet n Wild was like discontinued, I guess. But this is uh, the closest I've been able to find that's similar to it. It is Amethyst Stone. Oh, sorry, I told you wrong. Amethyst Stone number 120 by Revlon. And it doesn't seem to be any sort of like, it just says nail enamel. So, but I love the color shift in it. It holds up, I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, WD-40 fumes are not great, but I'm so happy that my chair is not squeaking. <laughs> Unfortunately, our house is drafty enough, even with the heater on. Um, but I just like having the fan on, I guess. Yeah, silver. And I bet it would hold up a whole lot better if I did, like, a top coat as well. Because I only ever just do, like, the two coats. Okay. I'm pushing this around and down. Because I really like... Oh, that's nice. It kind of snuck all the way in. <clears throat> okay. 
I am going to continue the coiling just a little farther. <laughs> right on, Kelly. I'll just take a little bit, breathe. And get your chill on. There we go. Hmm? Did you just say huff them fumes? Yeah. No, Randy, that's no. <laughs> is, that, is that not what we do? Nope. Oh, hey. I, I know you don't like it when I say this. I want to wear you like a jacket. <laughs> Were you a size 14? <laughs> <laughs> you help me load this chair into my van? <laughs> oh, I know what I want to put on our van when it, if we get one. No. Yes, it puts the lotion in the basket. Okay, so Randy and I are going to be doing Dragon Con in the Anime St. Louis in 2022. And this may kind of instigate a re-entering back into the convention world for vending. We don't know what the future holds yet. But uh, whenever we purchased our car, when our van died, we justified getting such an inexpensive clown car. Um, because we were like, well, not only have we not been vending, but Maddie, when she turns... How, whatever age it is that people be when they start driving um we can just get it for her and uh as kind of a way of paying for her internships for the past couple of summers because we work her like every day doing business crap um whenever she's here so we were gonna have to get another car to replace that one when we give it to her anyways and we had been looking at trucks but trucks are like ungodly expensive i did not understand um, like, I do not understand why they're so expensive. Like, even just, like, used ones. So, we've decided to just get a kidnapper van. Or a cargo van, I guess is what dealerships call them. Because you can't just walk in and be like, hey, do you got any kidnapper vans? Like, these people need to get a, uh, sense of humor, I suppose. Um. <laughs> but, uh, um. price range like used that we were looking for how many bodies can you fit in there is randy's favorite thing to ask in car shopping yeah same tasters is what it seems um woo. what do you think of that amy i like it <laughs> but it's for you not for me so um but we were like, if we get a cargo van, because all cargo vans kind of look very similar. Like if you've ever walked through like the parking lot of like a convention where all the vendors are parked, um, it's just cargo van after cargo van after cargo van. So we were like, well, maybe we can like put something on it or like hang something from the rearview mirror. And I was like, let's let's just paint it, puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> I can have like a little, because a Vista print makes them. They're like little vinyl decals for like promoting your business. We could just get one of those made. <laughs> that's just a cute little like basket clip art with a bottle of lotion in it and like a little rope <laughs> yeah right Kit <laughs> oh I'm so glad that you like it Amy order up my love Gary 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 is Gary in here I can wrap his next. Huh? Is Black Hammer in the house? Oof. Yeah, this thing is just leaking fire. What? Oh, the little... Yeah. <laughs> Do we like... just leave him in there? He's like the grape on the bunch that's all, like, he old. <laughs> and all the other grapes are still good. And he's just like, I'm ready to be wine now. Right. Our little raisin balloon. Oh, Tara. Not to be this way, but that's kind of what friends are for. Um, what are we talking about? Not kidnapping, Randy. We've changed topics. Um, <gasps> wow. What? The 
That's crazy, Kelly. Hey, Jenny. She says, I love your videos, Yvonne. Oh. Currently stuck in a creation rat. Everything I try making just keeps coming out horribly wrong. Hopefully this breaks soon. The best advice that I can give, first off, aside from what you're experiencing is normal. It happens to everybody and it sucks. You've got this. <laughs> but also, just tackle a project with the intent of doing it wrong. Like, even if it's just, I don't know, like, uh, chalk paint or, like, drawing with chalk on the sidewalk or something. Like, do something and be like, I'm going to have fun. It's going to be horrible. And I'm going to love it. And, like, put on some good music. Like, maybe have, like, a drink or something if you're into that. Or some chocolate if you're into that. And just, like, chill out and just enjoy being creative. And oftentimes, because it's, I know for me, whenever it's, I'm worried about getting inventory crammed for an event or uh, for vending or something or just anything like that. It can really, the, the work part of all of this can really suck the, the joy and creativity, creative spark out of existence. Um, and so sometimes you've got to just embrace the chaos and make a mess and have fun with it. So, like, oh, air dry clay, just, like, making, like, little gooby, like, monsters or something, or... Mm -hmm. Hey, Jennifer, how's it going? Knit white red deep hugs. Right on with your gnomes. Do what, love? Gooby, please. Is there a Tamara? Huh? Don't ignore me. Don't ignore me. I'm not ignoring you, babe. Am I? Okay. Is there a Tamara in the house? That ordered... This stuff? <laughs> Such a pretty flash. <laughs> Well, I never want to say people's like full names out loud, but it's a Tamara D. Your name is Tamara and you've purchased something from us. Yeah, your name's Tamara and you've purchased something from us. Um, so if you're here, holler at me because I got questions about your order. <laughs> hey, there she is. Um, <laughs> do what, love? What's so fooey? What'd you do? I'm uploading Mondays. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Tamara, it's me. How would you like this wrapped? Um, did you want it like, like how we have been doing with the, with the wrapping? Cause it says elegant Oxana style, but, um, I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't like the owl wrap or like, I just wanted to check with you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know Jennifer. I just work here. <laughs> now I think, ooh, we could do this one sideways. That would be really pretty. This side's really pretty too. We could have it from... Gotcha. Cool. Because this other style is actually, like, not to be like, hmm, but it's actually my own. I'm pretty pleased um, with how it came out. <laughs> but it is definitely very sleek and minimal compared to how I usually wrap. And it looks like vintage bronze. Very good choice. Let me go grab that. No, you're good, Tara.
Vertical, very cool. Okay, I'm going to recommend from this angle just because that shows the flash better than the other way. Hey, Lauren, Ashley, how's it going? Okay. Now, I do have a question for you. This is something I think we can do. Do you want a the same color wire coils? Or do you want like a contrasting color? Because I personally think this would look really, really cool with the um, either antique copper or titanium on the coiling. Just for like a little pop of color. Oh, Jennifer, I think we're going to be streaming until like 7. So we've been streaming for two hours so far. But that's okay. You're right on, Silver. <laughs> I always get kind of nervous when I start hearing stuff exploding in the, uh... Ooh, okay. You're not too far behind, Tamara. My chat's a bit lagged as well, so... Patience. Yeah, it's good to be patient. It's good to be patient. Two, three, four, and five twists gives us a nice long neck. All oh, right, on. I have to say, Tara, I I do love my my kiln. Paragon is the bomb diggity. <laughs> I'm not certain what we were talking about. It's we're getting like a kidnapper van or like a cargo van. Hopefully we'll see like a whole lot of, uh, what this year? Yeah. yeah, well, we're hoping that if today's sale goes really well and if the next six auctions <laughs> go really well, um, cause we, we use the holiday season to really carry us through a lot of the year. Um, as far as like, I don't know, personal expenses and stuff go. Um, and so if we're going to be able to get a van, that's going to be, that's what these next, gosh, I guess today and the next six weeks are gearing towards. So give me just a sec. I'm just braiding my hair real quick. Let's get it up out of my way. <laughs> right on, Jennifer. You're good. Well, we're just looking for something that, in a perfect world, we're looking for something that was made in the last decade. Um, just because with our 2001 Chrysler Town and Country, like, it was so expensive to get stuff replaced because a lot of those parts weren't in production anymore. So we couldn't go to the dealership to get work done because they'd want to charge us like $400 for a piece of tube. Whereas if we just go to the mechanic up the street, they just custom cut us a piece of tube and charge us just $20. So. <clears throat> there we go. Hey, Christina. I've been thinking about you all morning while I drink out of my mug. And we're having a Halloween party this weekend too. Not tonight though. Uh, I bet your Halloween party is going to be awesome. I want to go. <laughs> and we're hoping to find something, yeah, made in the last decade that it, like, either at or below 100,000 miles. And I'm just going to say, like, this is me being very, like, putting the vibe out into the universe to be like, ooh, this would be really nice, but we'll be very compromising. I think we bought our last van at, like, 130,000 miles. Um, you did, Tamara. I think so, right? I, th I thought you did. <laughs> In 
imagine and show up astral project here. I'll try. I can't astral project for too long, though. I have to go to... Our friends are having a baby shower in the morning, and I'm very excited. So... <laughs> <laughs> the veil is thin. Oh, I love that. <laughs> hmm? Oh my god, Randy. <laughs> Randy just said, I don't know why everybody has to show up for him to take a shower. He's not even born yet. I don't think that's how baby showers work, my love. Okay. That's hilarious, though. Hmm. How rough I say? I've been to more baby showers than you have. Huh? So I've been to more baby showers than you have. Oh, I know. Wait, this is bright silver, not titanium. Slide that off. Toss it back to the side. I actually have a little bit of titanium right here that I wrapped up on a previous project that I'm just going to slide on up there. Pushing it around. Very cool. No pokey bits. Looking good, looking good. Do 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 do. I'm just grabbing that, feeding it through. Well, that's what I should have done. Was just had a bunch of coils already made. I'm going to add just a little bit of a spiral up here. Oh, you're good. That baby showers when babies fell from the sky. Oh, God. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> oh, no, Mana. <laughs> oh, Randy, we could make it look super sus and just write Randy Von Ranch on the side. Of the vein. <laughs> oh. I actually think I want to do a... Oh, I don't have the beads for it, I don't think. Um, do, do you like the spiral? I think I'm going to go without the spiral. Do, I? do you? Do, I? do you? Do I? Like the spiral. Do, I? do you? <laughs> Sorry, we need to get out tomorrow. There we go. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's not stealth mode if you like poke your head up out of the ghillie suit and be like, hey, it's me. <laughs> Randy, you can't. Like, we could say creepy stuff like that when we were younger, but now people will be like, that creepy person over there, arrest them. <laughs> Randy's just over there going, Psh, hey kid, you want some candy? <sighs> That's how he snagged me. <laughs> okay, I don't have any beads though. Like I've got copper colored ones, but they're only in one size. And I don't know where they are. Good luck to you, Sabaya. <laughs> Maybe. At least on Halloween we'll have free candy.
What up, babe? Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I guess Rhonda's here. We'll wrap hers next. <laughs> Mm. What? <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts on this one, Tamara? I think it's a nice and sleek map. Right on. Well, I'm glad you like it, Tamara. I really love this with the square or with the rectangular shaped stone. Just got done homeschooling my kiddos. Right on. As someone who was homeschooled for a little while, like, thank you for your service. <laughs> Teachers do not get paid enough, but it made a huge difference for me as a kid. To, it really caught me up with my, um, I had such a bad lazy eye and my eyesight was so bad that I wasn't keeping up in school. And then that, in addition to my dyslexia, if I hadn't been taken out and, like, homeschooled for, like, a year and a half and then... Uh, like I got taken out of school in third grade was homeschooled for a year and a half and then got put back into school into the fourth grade in a different school district because we had moved um and that made a huge difference um and just allowing me to kind of like catch up to uh kind of where I needed to be and not just that but to learn how to like learn if that makes sense uh hey missy how's it going okay so this one is for Rhonda this is a custom owl and antique copper. So I'm shouting out to you, Kelly. You wanted to wrap an owl with me. <laughs> antique copper. I am going to try to rummage and find some antique copper in half round. Hopefully we might have some. But I think I've used it up on our pumpkin kits. No, I have some right here. Excellent. Also, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'll be right back, y'all. guys I'm back and ready to wrap some more it's getting kind of cold so gloving up you got this baby hey cat eyes jaded said wow that one didn't require backing yeah on the um on these stones, how we have a groove added into them, it really makes it to where the stone doesn't wiggle. You don't have to worry about it falling out. Like, it's in there. <laughs> you still smoking? Oh my god, could y'all hear that? <laughs> I did homeschool mine for a good long time. Right on, Missy. How to make chat work. Doing well. <laughs> right on. Sorry, Tamara, I didn't mean to smack your a whole bunch, but it was for demonstrative purposes. Super durable. Actually, I'm wearing 
I'm a super durable shirt today. It has survived, gosh, like 20 washes at this point. Because I can't wear it without getting it, like, filthy. Hey, pro. Um, we sell them on our website, Jade. We currently have a whole mess of pre-grooved stones that if you go down in the video description, it's the first link and you can buy them as is or you can get a custom wrap. And then a lot of the different stones on our cabochons and fused glass and gemstone cabs pages on our website, if they're eligible for it, um, you can click on it and there'll be an option to where you can have a groove added. There's actually a video at the top of each of those pages that shows you how to add the groove option if you uh <coughs> excuse me if you need some assistance with that but humans before i snip this do I have 20 gauge? I do. I'm going to try it Oxana's style. Well, I already put a little notch in it. We might do something else in this tone. I'm going to try to actually follow the directions, guys. Careful, something might actually catch on fire. Oh, that'd be so cool, Silver. So we have one. And this is 20 gauge. And... Hey, Kay, how's it going? Now, I'm gonna... Ooh. Hello, my love. Ooh, another order. Holy smokes. Hey, you're not allowed to leave without giving kisses. Company policy. Mwah. I'm giving Sam kisses. Sam gets all the kisses. <laughs> Can I have, like, two of them? She's a kiss hog. Mm. It's not my fault if he doesn't give them to you. Yeah. I love you and you're doing really good. Thank you for all your hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, tell me how pretty my balloons are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They glow in the dark, some of them. <laughs> These balloons are so pretty and my fingers hurt from working on them. <laughs> do, 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 do. I know, honey. It's hard being a dog. What the heck even is that noise? Mm -hmm. We're working on an owl, Kelly. Now this can be a little bit tricky. Because 20 gauge is really, really thin for what I'm used to. So, I'm trying to not get the wires crossed or anything like that. I'm actually going to be the smarter monkey and use my tools. So, just twisting around. Around town. This is an 18 gauge half round. Um, in Oxana's tutorial, I believe she uses, I don't know, like not 18 gauge, um, something thinner, maybe 20 or 21 or 22. I don't know. Um, go watch her tutorial. <laughs> um, but uh, all I have is the 18 gauge. So that's what I'm working with. Hey, Kate, I am not dressed up, actually. I'm such a bum. Um, we were up until almost 2 in the morning last night making... I think I used 150 balloons to make a balloon arch that's currently tied up to the ceiling so it keeps the cats out of it. Because um, we're having a Halloween party on Sunday. If I decide to go to, with Sterling, should I still buy from Parawire or is there another merchant you recommend? Um... I have not compared side by side Parawire's pricing per foot on the sterling silver versus like Rio Grande, Grande, Rio Grande. Um, but that's the other place that I buy from. 
Uh, if you also are going to be getting like a whole bunch of beads and stuff and you're going to have the all assortable pricing, Fire Mountain Gems is another source that I trust that I would check out. But unless you're getting that optimal, like that maximum discount, um, I don't know if I'd recommend going with them. Unless, of course, you've got like a massive order. Uh, I know I currently have like a ridiculous amount of stuff sitting in my uh, Fire Mountain Gems shopping cart waiting for um, me to muster up the funds. <laughs> right on, Kay. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know. Uh, like, I hope the Halloween party happens. Like, but it's going to be, like, really cold. Now I'm afraid nobody's going to show up. But it's kind of, we went to Exeter, Missouri, for a fall festival. And I had so much fun, like... Um, that I was like, we could put something like this on just for our friends, like, you know, because they had like fire pits and like pumpkins and stuff. And so we're going to have a face painting station and a pumpkin carving station. And we've already got like a bunch of pumpkins. We told folks it's a bring your own pumpkin, but just in case like anybody's not able to bring a pumpkin, like we've got some to share and uh, I'm actually, <laughs> this is totally, <laughs> by shooting a vlog about it, all of the expenses suddenly become a business expense. So I am definitely going to be putting footage of this up on the Vonster vlog. Um, because it's like out in the garden and stuff. And it is technically our first prototype of if we ever host like a fall festival or something at... Uh, camp craft along or something like that. So we're kind of guinea pigging, but the menu is. Hmm. Big yeah, big learning experience because I mean, we'll have, I think, a minimum of like nine or ten people, unless uh, more show up. So that'll be officially the largest gathering I've ever hosted so and we're all gonna be crapping in the driveway because I can't have humans in the house so that's gonna be fun <laughs> not really I guess I guess people can come in and use the bathroom right well I'd kind of like to do that but Randy said no just telling people where our house is um so if it goes really well this year we may rent like a big campsite or something next year and have a customer appreciation like camp out but it's it can be kind of cold this time of year too so I, I don't know more more data is required rent a portable potty maybe <laughs> that's actually a pretty good idea I don't know like we're really close with all all 10 of these people um so I don't mind them coming into the house but they know me you know to not be let it our house just looks haunted. Okay, so shaping this around. It's a trickier with the half round in different ways. Causes a different kind of finger pain. <laughs> and bending these around and Oxana makes it look so easy. And it's like not. <laughs> For me at least to do like the tidy neat stuff like this. Okay, so I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to use my mandrel to shape it around. Because I want this one to be a little bit rounder. But we're having... Um, the menu is chili and cornbread and Fritos. And I'm also making like a keto uh, bacon ranch chicken dip. That's good in a wrap or just like on some crackers or something or celery sticks I think is what we got for and we're for dessert we're making fried pies with ice cream and we're gonna have a big old really Randy said he might even make muffins that'd be cool are you still interested in making those hot dog pastry yes. okay <laughs> Randy has some recipes that he wants to try making, um, and 
we have a bunch of firewood like we did a bunch of yard cleanup so we've got a bunch of wood that needs burnt um that will be just burning and i don't know like i'm gonna set up a little fairy village on straw bales if we can get some straw bales today um and like <laughs> so many candles <laughs> like it's ridiculous <laughs> Uh, party starts through, but I just, I really hope that it's not raining. And I really, really hope that it's not so cold that people are, like, uncomfortable. So, we're getting all of our blankets washed. Like, we've got a bunch of, like, throw blankets and these blankets for when we go camping that we're going to have out there. And we have a hammock. <laughs> and a petting zoo. <laughs> so the petting zoo is really just the rabbits and chickens that we already have all the time anyways but we're gonna feed the rabbits red peppers like they're not spicy they're just sweet peppers but because we have two white rabbits that so makes them look like the beast of carabinog from um <laughs> yeah some... look at the bones <laughs> and i'm gonna try to dress sam and z up like boobies um but I think they might just have to be bees, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get them to wear a sheet without tripping. So that's our petting zoo. <laughs> we could. I couldn't find any strawberries that were, like, didn't look miserable um, at the store. They're quite out of season. But we do have some raspberries for them, too. But it makes them look like they've got, like, red all over their face. <laughs> it's got fangs. And one day, one day, in the ultimate... I guess, for lack of a better term, Randy Von Ranch dream. Um, I was telling Randy that if we have horses, we could we could put little wings on the horses. And he was like, alicorns? And I was like, horse flies. <laughs> it, it makes me laugh. Um, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> At least I think I'm funny. But, uh, I don't know, I've been like writing notes and making plans and all weekend and I'm having such a good time. Like hopefully, hopefully everybody will have fun. Cause it's, our friends do so much for us, like just being there for us and everything. And it's, you know, they never ask for anything in return. <laughs> and so we're like, can we buy you dinner? And they're like, no, nope, we've already eaten. And we're like, can we buy you tomorrow's dinner? And they're like, nope. So, <laughs> so they, <laughs> I like how this one's coming along so far. I do like it with the half round, though I think next time I'm still going to use the 18 gauge because, man, my fingies. Ah, uh, thanks, Kay. We'll keep everybody posted because this is the, the prototype to see how hosting for 10 people go because then we might be able to... Oh, well, they're going to have uh, antennas. The horses are going to wear little, like, antennas headbands if, if we ever have horses and if this ever happens again in the future. <laughs> But I'm kind of kind of nervous and excited, and I'm really glad our friends are letting us guinea pig on them. Okay. So now I'm going to bend up and around. And I'm going to be using my stick mandrel again. I don't know. Let's, let's try the mandrel pliers. Like, I'll... <laughs> No, we could have one that's dressed up like, a, I don't know, it depends on how many horses Randy lets me have. But uh, I was kind of mulling around the idea, because it's one day my hands aren't going to work so good and my eyesight's going to be crap. No, I like the stick mandrel better for this step. And I was like, maybe, maybe, um, one day we could have an animal sanctuary of like rescue animals or like an animal retirement home or something. And we could put on little festivals like that to raise funds for old animal health care or something. I don't know. Like, it just, I would be very, very happy to get to spend all day every day just taking care of animals. I mean, people could still come and craft, but it'll keep me nice and busy. Definitely keep me active, having to take care of all those critters. Oh, he got big eyes. <laughs> I love it. 
do this? How can... Okay, so now from here, I am going to use... Let's keep that bent up, I think, so I can fit the pliers in. But this is how Dream starts with just a seed. I don't know what the seed is, but I'm going to water it and see what it grows into. Oh, that's from the... Oh, that's the wrong eye! <laughs> a walking eye, Hank. Walking eye, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you do, Rhonda, with his big old eyes. So I'm just going to take this and flip it over. Ah, oh, that made it a little weird. Now I'm going to have to do it that same way on the other side. It's okay. It's just not what I... This is not what I planned. But this is what's happening. Mm, I think I'm going to have to redo that. Crafting with critters, yes. Okay. I got my wires literally crossed and wrapped the wrong way. So, let's see if we can salvage this. Thank goodness for nice, soft, supple pair of wire. Hey Benjamin, how's it going? And this is what always happens is he's, he's got like iguana eyes. <laughs> Storks is a horse fly because the alicorn has two horns, right? <laughs> That's fair, Randy. I hadn't considered that. Okay, so now. Pull the stone back out. Where did that half round wire go? Here it is. Okay. So now I'm going to bind these quite tight. And I keep thinking that my phone's blue screened. And I'm like, that's not right, but it's just my gloves. Because our friends, we have some friends that have, um, their sister does, like, on her farm, they host princess parties, like, princess-style parties, where they have, like, um, or kids' parties, really, where, but they have, like, the little fairy tale style carriage, and they'll, like, have a venue, like, they have a venue where they set up and do, like, photography and the parties and everything, um, and that really got me thinking that it'd be super cool to have that, but a little bit more like a dark fae themed. So like the, instead of a cute carriage pulled by miniature horses, it would be uh, two goats with <laughs> like pulling a chariot or something. Um, and I just thought that that'd be really, really cool. All right, Aunt Christina, I think we will be. My little house chickens and I so enjoy crafting along with you. All right, on. Do you really have house chickens, or are they like parrots or something? So I brought the chicken into the house once. One of them I brought Bay in, but she was having heat stroke, and Randy and Maddie were both like, um, Vaughn, <laughs> we need to have a talk. And I was like, there's no talking chicken. Don't talk in front of the chicken like that. Don't talk in front of the chicken like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? What's up, love? What happened to my thing I just did? Okay. Well, he 
he yells at the computer, I'm going to keep working on this out. Actual chickens on Silky and two frizzled naked neck turkeys. Ooh! Silkies are so, like, glamorous. <laughs> The uh, mailman's coming. Brace yourselves for loud barking. Uh, one of our, our oldest friends, actually. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> Come on. You have a good boy, Sam. The company you called. Z, I'm loving on your brother. There we go. Mailman brought something. Oh, did he? Yeah. How's it going in there? I'm on tray two. You're doing great. Is Weebly cooperating? Huh? Is Weebly cooperating? Mm. More or less? Ah. Divas in cute pink diapers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Well, go prep for your party, Christina, and send me pictures. <laughs> Moving the cab again. Ooh, what that? I don't know. Huh. some quick rhinoplasty on our owl here. Just bringing that back together. There we go. Hello, I can hear you licking Z. Stop that. Stop. We'll have to put the cone back on you. He's been doing so good. He's almost gone a whole week without having um, to have to wear his cone. Okay, now from here, I do prefer to use our round weaving wire on this section. Oh, I love it. He's so, like, chibi and cute. There's that one. There's that one. What color is this? Antique. Color. over a foot for this. Oops. What up? Oh? They are. <laughs> Our friend, uh, Julie? I love the fact that the package has time-sensitive material. <laughs> time-sensitive? Yes. Ooh, y'all. Okay, sneaky peeky. A million years ago. Is that what that whole big box was? No. Oh, okay. So, I wanted to test and do an upcoming tutorial on incorporating... Oh my gosh. These little perfume vials into jewelry making. And... It took forever to get here, but it finally arrived. So sneaky peeky for upcoming tutorials on there. Yeah, I can never remember if it's Julie or Julia, because Randy and I call her Del Judge, because that's like, <laughs> we like that and it sounds hardcore. Oh, the cat's here, I gotta go let the cat in. Um, but she sent me these and they're absolutely perfect. Out at me, no noise came out. 
She was just like, please, please take me home. <laughs> okay, so there's our wire. I don't know why, but my brain just doesn't start kicking in until about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Because now it's, <laughs> I feel like I'm really getting into it. And give it a snip. <laughs> so we've done ten, 10 wraps. And now I'm going to whip stitch. There's once. Twice and thrice. I think we're going to be wrapping until seven. We have um, just a couple more orders stacked up. We are still accepting more orders. Um, I think one of those is a pumpkin, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That'll be nice. I haven't wrapped a pumpkin in a minute. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Then give that a snip. Give that a smoosh. So what are all y'all working on today? Okay, coming around. <laughs> Pro. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just appreciate you. Whoa! Throwing my pliers. Super durable! I appreciate y'all being here, hanging out with us. Crafting's more fun with friends. How goes it, love? Oh, those are so cute. Can I touch them? Oh, I want to touch them. Oh my God, they got here so fast. Oh, okay. Can I show them? Y'all. Okay, so Randy got me an early Christmas present that was um, a tea set for two. And it's quite small, and it's the kind where you put, like, candles underneath the teapot to keep it warm. And, um, ah, well, I didn't have a cream and sugar for whenever we're having tea together. So, and it, it and we found these for $6 on Etsy. So, now I have my little cream and sugar canisters. Well, it was, like, Christmas coming in today. Thank you, Randy. And they're, they're just perfect. Because the tea set is a cast iron that's enameled on the inside of the teapot and on the inside of the cups. But yeah, we kind of do um, our, our like meaningful Christmas presents to each other around Halloween, it seems. Um, and then because come Christmas time, we're like usually in Tennessee or traveling and stuff. And so... There's the three wraps binding both together, and there's one, two, but yeah, I, I kind of figured silver plated um, cream and sugar set for six bucks on Etsy. That is not bad. Silver says, those are cute tea accoutrements. Do you ever have an online tea party? I have not, but that's a brilliant idea. How do you, I don't know, like, I'm not good at, like, etiquette and crap, so, um, the tea part is going to be a little bit of, like, a goblin tea party. <laughs> a goblin tea party? Yeah, we can all just dress up like dark fey creatures, and, uh, I don't know, mad, my dear. eat meat. Like, 
Is that something you do at tea parties? It is now. You can eat meat and sculpt things and grilled vegetables. Ooh, fondue. Is that? That's not tea. <laughs> So this is going to have to be a thing now that we do. <laughs> huh? Okay, bringing this through like that. And now before we bind it off, let's get the other side wrapped around. <laughs> Huge crazy owl. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I love that, Kelly. Do it. Just getting a nice little spiral going. That side. Would labyrinth goblins work as well? Yes. <laughs> yes, they would. We take all goblins here. Hobgoblins. <laughs> Do a tea party to show off everything you have for sale in your shop. What about this? Dress up, have tea, chat, and display. That's really cute, and I love it. We're going to have to start doing that for our Monday shop updates. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give them some bonk like that and then boom like that there we go okay i feel like a person who makes jewelry again i need to do to kind of get my mojo back after putting that cabin backwards <laughs> oh wow that's so cool mary heart it's every teapot i've ever gotten in my whole life like have been from like thrift stores and I love them and they're amazing and I break them every single time. So I think that's why this time Randy got me one that's cast iron. <laughs> right on, Silver. Well, Rhonda, are you liking this one? Because I think I absolutely love them and I had such a good time hanging out while I made them. I actually have a picture somewhere of my very, not a very first tea party, but tea parties that I had as a kid. Aw, oh, thanks, Rhonda. I'll be right back. Order up, my love. I'll bring it to you this time. Did I put all those pictures up? I'll be right back, you guys. I gotta go grab something. I guess I can take those tea things upstairs. So legend has it that at one of my earliest tea parties, um, my brother was having bad manners. And uh, this is before my memory, like uh, the stories from my mom. 
though my brother confirmed. Um, <laughs> I gave him a black eye because he kept, like, having poor manners at my tea party. Um, but I didn't have a bunch of friends as a kid, but Goldfish, which is the name of that fish, <laughs> and Newton would have tea parties with me. And, uh, I could get Newton to drink, like, drink out of the little cups. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be so gross. Y'all don't judge me too hard, okay? But I, I've told y'all time and time again, I'm a swamp troll. Like, there's nothing dainty and ladylike and couth about me. I would put, like, I'd stick my finger in my ear and rub it on the inside of the cup, because Newton loved earwax. And I was like, I need more earwax. But, um, <laughs> so, and he would eat, like, his whiskers num-nums. Like his treats. But that was Newton. He was my friend. And I think I was like eight or nine in this picture. But that's not an illusion. That goldfish was huge. But yeah, so we might have to. What game is that? Under the. Oh, Crayola. It's a big box of Crayolas. But uh, but yeah, he was my buddy. We would have tea parties. So. Yeah, that was second grade. I do think. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Itsy Bitsy. Those goldfish do not play around. <laughs> Silver says, oh god, yuck. It is it's nasty. <laughs> but <laughs> uh I am under no illusions that um that I'm not just a swamp troll. Okay, um, who's next? We have Gary. Gary, oh, this one's pretty. It says antique silver, elegant slash steampunk. Okay. So first let's get an eye for the flash. I'm thinking from this angle, because whenever you're wearing it, it might get a little bit more of a, uh... <laughs> Newton actually, he, like, he would come up and, like, be, like, put his paws on my head and, like, hold my head down and lick inside my ear and, like, not let me move. Um, so, <laughs> it's, a. Uh... Gosh, I had a weird child. That's not normal, is it? Oh, well. Um, well, that turned out all right, I guess. Eh. Yeah. Do what, Randy? Not typically, no. I said not typically, no. Gary? Gary, can you hear me? Gary, are you there? My favorite ones are melon shaped. Ooh, sounds like a lovely collection, Mary Hart. I'm waiting to hear back from Gary before I move forward. I gotta set that over there. And I'm wondering how we might try to make this a little bit more steampunky. I might have some tiny little brass beads. Every child has something unique about it. No worries. We know you don't do that now. Or should we be talking to your cat? No, we don't do that now. Uh, I was also raised at a nudist camp, though, uh, for a while. <laughs> so it seems like there's just a lot of odd stuff about my childhood that at the time I had no idea was atypical. Um, until, you know, being a grown-up and talking to other people and seeing how other people raise their kids. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Well, I did grow up to be a YouTuber, so, I mean. Yeah, that doesn't really redeem it. Um. Do, 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 do. Getting messy, Vaughn. I was a military brat, so I didn't know family was supposed to be an everyday thing. Right, Kelly? And see, that's, I didn't have, uh, never met grandparents, never met any cousins or relatives or anything like that. It was just 
<laughs> right on silver. It did, Christina. I can dig it. Um, I thought... I can't find my beads, Gary, and I can't find my Gary, so... But I think we're just gonna start powering through these. So let's see, here it is. I think I'm gonna use up, yeah, the rest of this spool. Okay, and I'm gonna come down to the center of our wire. Just nestling, this is 18 gauge. Yeah. Aw, well, thanks Angela. You're so kind. All y'all are. silver it was probably the nicest thing about um i mean but it's been like 17 years but uh, about joining randy's family is he's got aunts and uncles and cousins and people who are having kids and it's just the greatest so it was getting to marry into a really wonderful set of in-laws <laughs> right. Missy says, totally understand, Kelly. Everyone asking where you're from, always say what year. Yeah. We changed houses almost every year after the campground, but we stayed in the same town for like three years, which was nice. That was the longest we had stayed anywhere. sneak I found some little beads off to the side here I have been very blessed along the way Christina very very blessed relentless optimism makes a big difference side by side with me strange things have happened here a stranger would it be we met at midnight in the hanging seen them either. Okay, so now he said he wanted steampunk and to me vintage bronze is like quintessential. Oh pro, that's rough. Not the pants pro. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. Give it a smush. He is lurking incognito. What's Gary? Gary seems to be another of the Squatch variety. The uh, Mon Monza? I don't know how to pronounce names. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
strange thing that happened here, a stranger would be me. Mm -hmm. Isn't Gary a snail? Some Garys are snails. But the rare Gary Squatch. <laughs> right? Hey, Cindy. Callie's doing great. She's back inside the house. Oh, well, this isn't twisting at all. It's just, okay, we've got to get this grounded a bit. There we go. And now we can... Ha ha. <laughs> okay, so Randy and I have been listening to the audiobook of Dune. I had read the book, like, a lifetime ago. Um... <laughs> right on, Christina. I've never met a Gary I didn't like. That's true. Hmm. It's a fun name. Like, it's a happy name. Ah, oh, well, thanks, Cindy. Okay. Yeah, no spoilers on the new Dune. We haven't watched it. Um, but I had read Dune back in like middle or early high school, but Randy had never read it, and I don't think he's seen the old movies either. Um, honestly, I don't know if I've seen the old movies, but we're listening to it on audiobook, and I'm like, I don't know what to think. <laughs> Do what? I've not seen it. Randy says he has not. But it's just... Uh, trying to withhold judgment because it's like I like I don't know if I'd like the Game of Thrones books nearly so much if I hadn't watched the show first just because I have a hard time keeping track of characters and there are certainly a bunch of characters um so I don't know we'll see but we're almost like we've got like six or eight hours left in the book I think it's been nice to sit and craft together and listen to audiobooks But, uh, like, I really love the world building and everything, but 15-year-old Paul from the Dune book seems a little angsty. <laughs> oh, Spice Melange! Yes, Drax! <laughs> yeah, same, Cindy. Nothing to be old Dune. Yep. Does Randy still game? Not nearly as much as he used to. He does not have a whole lot of time. Like, we're kept full-time busy uh, juggling all this stuff here around the house. Right on, Kit. And honestly, as much as I love the world building and everything, like, the, I love the universe and, like, the complexity of it. Um... But I started reading on Reddit, like, a comparison, like, side by side of, like, Star Wars and Dune. And, uh, it was an interesting read. That's true. Old Dune has Sting and Patrick Stewart. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rewatch that. I think, I think Fred had a copy. Yeah, I think we, I think we have it upstairs. Yeah. Gary. <laughs> well, we haven't actually been able to go camping since about this time last year. And instead of going camping, we're kind of just putting on a Halloween shindig in the backyard. Using a lot of the camping equipment, though. So, that's good. A Duniverse? <gasps> <laughs> I really liked making that one. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. And I love it with the little bead in the middle there, too. I hope it's steampunky enough for you, Gary. Order up, my love. 
the spicy melange. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we actually, speaking of the pumpkin spice, we are wrapping a pumpkin next in antique copper. My poor fingies. Okay, so we've got the half round. Let me go grab. You like it? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, baby. The one you said you was going to do. Oh, I did come and deliver it. I just forgot the other one before that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm excited too. Our friends, um, Paul Blachek does the official Wheel of Time artwork, and they, they actually put on Jordan Con as well. I don't know if Mike does it as well. I know I've seen it more. Um, Paul promotes it more for sure. I mean, both of them are spectacular artists. It may be under the Brothers Blachick banner. Uh, I'm not certain. It's been years since we've even gotten to hang with them. So don't quote me on any of that. Mm. So I'm cutting a little over 12 inches. I should come with toast. It actually sounds really nice. Y'all, stop telling me about your cat using the potty. <laughs> like, I get enough of that. Changing out my own litter box. Why? Hmm? Okay, I'm back, y'all. Had to pop out for a minute. Oh, sorry. No, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, we're back. Excellent. There it is. I'm so sorry, you guys. That happens. Okay, are we... Hello? <laughs> yes, we're back. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I'm, I'm still here. I've got to refresh on my tablet now. Could you type for me, honey, and let them know? Refresh. Yes, please. There we go. Back into live chat. Hey, Cindy. Okay, so now we are 
we have four 18 gauge square wires and I'm coming through with the 18 gauge <laughs> well it's trying to type on the tablet doesn't always work out it's not like I'm laying here eating grapes being like Randy, go type for me, darling. <laughs> oh, um, I recommend to folks, if it's your first time wire wrapping, to use the 20 gauge silver. Um, and that's the name, not the, the metal. You can use whatever metal you want. Um, but yeah, I, I, I recommend to folks to use the 20 gauge. You can use the 18 gauge, but I just recommend to folks to start with the 20. That way they can get a feel for it. It's a little bit easier on your fingers. Um, is what I use in our uh, Groovy Cab kit tutorial, both the tutorial and the kit. Um, but you can use up to 16 gauge, I believe. but it can get a little tricky so strange things have happened here how stranger would it be I think she was referring to the groovy cabs, Elida. Though I'm not certain if that's what you're referring to as well. Ooh, right on. Yeah. 20 gauge is so versatile. I love it. Using a little mandrel to shape that around. There we are. Ooh, that'd be cool, Elijah. That'd be really cool. So I'm just wrapping around our two backmost wires. But with glass, um, especially on the sharp edge from where we had, it's like sharp internally. Um, and if you're putting like kind of cramming and twisting wire in there, sometimes it can break off little slivers. So that's why I recommend the 20 gauge because it doesn't put any sort of stress on the uh, groove and you don't have to worry about that at least that I've experienced. Uh, not in our time soon, Corvaca, Car Carvorka. Uh, I just ruined that. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's only three twenty where we are. Hey, Abed, how's it going? That little bit wrapped. Yeah, <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoops, apply your slip, that's all right. We're doing pretty good here. Really enjoying the first, 
what feels like the first real days of autumn. It's finally cooled off and rainy and all the autumn colors are so beautiful. <clears throat> I love it when it's a nice kind of soggy autumn like this because the colors get so vibrant in the trees and they just dance in the road in the silvery rain it's beautiful I think I am going to have just a little short break after this where <clears throat> I'm going to let my fingers take a minute. Hey, Melissa. Holy crap. How have you been? Whoops. Mm hmm. Giving it some smush. There we go. Okay, coming, moving these down because I want it to be kind of equidistant between the three points, though really it's a bit wider at the top. So, noise, got internet back, looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to come through with my flat nose pliers and do that little bend that holds on to the booty. Mistress Mink! Did I miss Mistress coming in? Hmm? There she is. Okay. I said booty. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> there we go. Bringing that around. <clears throat> now we can get this shaping so that we can start work on the veil. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Rebecca? Are you the one who ordered this? I, it should, there weren't any notes about stylistically if you'd like it sleek or swirly or minimal or... Here, I gotta... I'm getting tangled. I bet those would be perfect for chainmail though, where I don't have to worry about little snaggy ends of wire. Ooh, good tip. Thank you, comatose. Okay. I need to get some of these wires sorted. So I'm taking the backmost wire. And bending it down. I don't know if I'm going to do this one swirly or... No, we'll do it like that. Okay. And then again, taking the backmost wire. Coming around. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I can turn the fan off now. Hopefully the WD-40 will have dissipated enough. Okay. Last Monday. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you so much, honey. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
gonna have to rummage through my bead tray to find some autumn Cool, so we've got those. We've got these guys coming around. I think since this one's smaller, I'm gonna do it a little more like a sleek design. Oh no, the tail or the paw or the ear or the face. <laughs> hey, Beth, how's it going? Yeah, I'm still here. I had to check. There we go. Hey, Wandy. What do you want to have for lunch? Um, you got some leftover cheap Chinese? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to eat that. It didn't settle in my stomach too well would before it was leftovers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Gary! Giving it some little pumpkin swirls there on the back. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cindy says, two weeks ago, I bought cabs and groovy cab to make pumpkins. Can I buy a couple of little leaves to put on? Can't find those anywhere. We have very, very limited supply of these. Um, but it, I got them from Fire Mountain Gems. And I think they have some that are like enameled still. This is Suzette. It's a pumpkin. <laughs> but I'm sorry, Cindy, we don't have any uh, for sale. Though, also, there's, oh, I can't remember the name of the company, because I keep thinking, like, Pepe Cutters, but that's, like, a meme, um, Pepe the Frog, um, but, I'm trying to think, oh, right on, Elijah says he found some on Etsy, Etsy and Rio Grande, very cool, oh, Rio Grande has these little leaves? Right on. Well, thanks for asking, though. You never know till you ask. Because what with our limited supply, I wouldn't mind getting my paws on some more. Okay, trying to find the correct wire for pumpkin defusing. Ooh! Oh, that's nice, Kit. Never the blue wire. <laughs> I keep wondering if we shouldn't try um, opening like a new Etsy shop and trying it out just to see for like beads and cabs and stuff. Um, to see if I could recommend Etsy. Because as an established shop, I'm like, eh, their fees are a bit too high. They force the advertising. Like, I don't want to... A wear cat, maybe. <laughs> wear cat, their cat. Okay, so I'm gonna whoop, bring this around on this side. Why are you talking like that? I thought you wanted to. No. Oh, let me. I'm easy. <laughs> we should watch that. Watch Young Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. 
I really want to try Oksana's new pumpkin tutorial. Because it looks so sleek and fun. And like it might hurt my fingers a little less. <laughs> I'm getting these guys bent up to come into the bale. I actually think I want to twist them. Let me store and adding new items every day is the way to get love. Also spending a little on ads. Right on, pro. <laughs> right on, Beth. Very good taste. What's up, baby? Not on an American Netflix. Mm. I wonder if Maddie's ever seen it. I'm going to give this one some twists. Oh, okay, cool. It is on Prime Video for free. Oh, excellent. I feel like I'm all thumbs. Wrench that around a little better. Okay, we are back. And apparently I can't zoom in or it will crash it. Let me type. Back. Send. Refresh. We are back, guys. I got it back up, Randy. Oh, you still have your headset on? <laughs> wow, they reach all the way upstairs? All the way. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but I was saying hey to Katrina. Hey, Katrina. How's it going? <laughs> La, da, da, da. Okay. I have adulting pants on. Okay. I believe in you, honey. <laughs> nah, Colleen. Uh, I'm streaming from my phone, and it does, is not very good quality. Like, the phone's new. Um... But I just, I guess, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's that our house is like made out of uh, slat and plaster. So that blocks a lot of signal um, or, or what's going on. So, oh, I'm getting hungry though. And I am just chugging away on this bale. Four strands of 18 gauge square being wrapped with 18 gauge half round. Is that my Randy? Randy? You wouldn't have left without saying bye. 
I don't think. Well, you just go into the feed store. Haru! Me and the dogs just go sit by the door when Randy's not here waiting for him to come back. Oh, there you are! <laughs> hey, Randy! I don't know. I heard of... Oh, it's neighbors across the way is the vehicle I was hearing. Can you be sure to let Pam know that I super duper appreciate her helping us out with the straw bales? Yep. Thank you. Well, it's our friend... Um, we were supposed to get the straw bales yesterday, but their starter wasn't working, which is, like, so stressful. Like, I hate... Uh, car stress. Like, I hate it for them. Like, I hate it for us. I hate it for anybody who's having car stress. It's the worst. It's like, I have this car for one thing and it's not doing the thing it's supposed to do. And now I have to pay money. Crap. <laughs> but fortunately, they were able to get it fixed up. And she's going to help us uh, by picking up some straw bales. Because we can't even fit a single straw bale into our car. Not even if we put, like, a tarp and stuff down. I tried. <laughs> like, much to Randy's dismay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't left me unsupervised yet, Gary. Not today, at least. Well, neighbors across the way still. Hey, it's alright. It's okay. You don't gotta bark all loud. Z, calm down, buddy. Put your hackles down. I don't know who you think you're gonna get beat up. <laughs> Not to be this way, but that's like a well-trained German Shepherd across the way. He could kick your butt, honey. You get tired going up the stairs. I'd put your hackles down and put on a smile. <laughs> like, pick your fights, buddy. <laughs> He's like, I don't appreciate that at all, Mom. <laughs> oh, they're doing good, Kay. Ah! Costume contest, Christina. Who's my Gucci dog? Let's have a little bit of puppy cuddle time. <gasps> Such a good boy. I'm going to get the mirrors. I'm gonna get them ears. Oh. oh, hey, Sam Doggy. Scritch, scritch, scritch goes the dogs. They're such good boys. I love these little mongrels. And Sam's just dark little. <laughs> he disappears into the shadows. Do you make those or. Oh, okay, asking pro. Do what? He, the crap out of you the he did. Oh my god. Well, because he turned on like the phone light, and it like was like whenever you're spooky at a campground, like a campfire, and you put the flashlight under your chin. But it was Sam's face being underlit by the phone, and it scared it scared the crap out of me because <laughs> he was just on the bed, but I didn't like feel him there. <laughs> oh, I know, buddy. Who's the scariest doggy? You are. Get your He's scary too. <laughs> All right, back to work, guys. That's enough of a break for my hands. Okay, okay. <laughs> a tasty morsel for those big dolls, dogs, right? Yeah, uh, Sam's lump is back. Um, and he was denied for another round of surgery. Um, but since being denied, it hasn't grown anymore. Um, so for, for a puppy with cancer, he seems to be doing, I mean, an old puppy, but still, uh, he seems to be doing really, really well. So we're grateful for the time we have with him. Sweet, 
so I would uh, zoom in, but I don't want to crash the stream again. So here we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making a little like that. Aw, thank you, Cindy. Probably not gonna lie, best part about 2020 and 2021 has been getting to stay home with our dogs. Um, they are very, very good boys. And we spent way too much of their life on the road. I'm gonna kind of just thread a little bead on there because I feel like it. Um, yeah, he's pretty old, um, mistress. And I, like the biggest worry wasn't, you know, is he gonna, or the biggest worry was, is he gonna wake up? Uh, so that and he's like, right on Elijah. Well, it's a matter of they hate being in the car. The dogs do. Um, they are not well behaved, my failing as a dog mom, um, to not have socialized them more. And for the longest time, whenever we were doing conventions before we had our van, we had to fit our entire booth, like costumes and everything, into like our four door Chrysler, uh, Sebring. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it's a family car, but I mean, you can't fit our whole booth, two people our stuff for the weekend and two 50 pound dogs um hey vet how's it going oh gosh Colleen I'm so sorry but it's I mean it's still hard but it's um They've gotten to lead very full lives, very long lives, and it's been such a nice thing to have them, you know, with us that it's, you know, we lost their mom when she was only like three or four years old, and the tragedy of that was that, you know, so much life denied to her, she was so young. But uh, we still have Sam and Z, and they're good, good boys. So... It, it's not as hard, I feel like, to get a visit from the Reaper when it's more in its time. I mean, but maybe I just feel that way because everybody I've lost has always been ripped away too soon, it feels like. so. And honest to goodness, I could have a hundred years with these deranged mutts and still feel like it was too soon. Oh, that, that's the worst. For a sign of car trouble? <laughs> she was such a good girl she was an orange bastard but she was a good girl <laughs> I think I'm going to put a bead on this side too uh huh 100% Colleen that's beautifully put But I need to change this out or I'm going to start crying on a live stream again. Hazel was pre-YouTube for us. <laughs> she was Sam and Z's mom. She has a Chow Shepherd mix that I actually found under our car. Somebody had dropped her off, um, like, I guess, in our driveway because we lived out in the country. Uh, they had dropped her off while I was at school. And I came home and got off the bus. And Randy was working nights then. So, uh, he was asleep on the couch and he had said he had heard a car pull up earlier in the day, but thought maybe people were just like changing drivers or something. Uh, but I got off the bus and saw something little underneath our car and I, I was like, what on earth? So I dropped my stuff on the porch and went and she was scared so she wouldn't come out. So I had to like crawl under the car and get her and like drag her out. But she was just this weird, um, Gosh, so mangy and starved and like she still had her milk teeth. She was so little. 
Um, and uh, <laughs> I woke Randy up with holding this stinky mangy mutt in front, like this far from his face, being like, can we keep her? And he was like, no, we can't keep her. And it's like, but he, I mean, he had to go to work. So he was like, we'll talk about this in the morning. Like, let's just, let's just get through the, the rest of the day. Um, and he was like, you have to keep her in this, like, cause we didn't have a dog kennel. So we had a tote that we just put like a towel over. That way she could still like, you know, not, we're not going to put a lid on a tote with a dog and it's wrong. Um, but, uh, she was why He was like, you have to keep her in the tote like through the night. And I was like, okay, okay. But she kept whining and it is a puppy. So I kept like hugging her and like she slept in the bed with me. And I'm the kind of person that like, I'll wake up about 15 minutes before the bus gets there. And like, I'm already wearing my clothes that I was gonna wear to school for the day. Like, and cause it was like an hour and a half long bus ride. So like, like I just wanted to be able to roll out of bed and go. Um, well, she peed all over me about five minutes before I was supposed to be getting up to have zero extra time. Um, and I was so upset and I had to shower and it's like, I had like just all the, in such a rush. Um, no one's fault but my own, clearly not blaming the dog. Um, she did exactly what Randy knew she would, <laughs> but I wrote Randy a note that I was like, we do not need a dog. <laughs> she peed all over me and like, uh, he said he came home from work because we we didn't have an overlap of seeing each other in the morning and read the note and looked at Hazel and she was just sitting in her bin just looking at him and he was like you're a good dog <laughs> and we kept her <laughs> we had no money we had I mean we could should not have been keeping a dog right then um but we kept her and she was a good girl she was hateful like, she hated people and dogs and everybody, and she was too smart for her own good. Um, but, uh, she was a real good girl. She was our first baby for Randy and I. Right on, Suzette. Well, I'm glad he's doing good. I remember whenever we moved from uh, apartments back out to the country, uh, we still had Hazel. And she got the zoomies so hard. Like, she tucked her butt under and, like, ran laps around the house. She was so happy to be back in the country. Uh, she kind of hated being in the apartment, I think. Well, y'all, I think this is probably one of my favorite pumpkins I've ever made. Like, absolutely love how those came out. Oh my gosh, Killian, that's amazing. <laughs> she was a real good girl. So there is, this was for Rebecca. I don't know if Rebecca was in here, but thank you so much, Rebecca, for your order and for Letting me get the, to make this for you. I think we're going to include beads from now on. Those are really, really cute. Those are just little four millimeter copper beads. Ah, uh, thanks, Gary. Randy, what was that noise? Oh, my. I don't know. It sounded like something electric. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get this order to Randy real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Gonna test make those uh, hot dogs. Ah, maybe some ramen. Oh, no. That feels so good on my hands. Mm -hmm. 
Like holding the bowl. You <laughs> expect me to eat the wet? Well, then with my hands. <laughs> Sorry, I had to <laughs> go torment Randy, apparently. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm cleaning my glasses. There we go. Very cool. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Dogs are something else. Some things he ate we didn't even know about. Oh, no. That was the way Harley was. <sighs> Harley was a handful. Mm. Ooh, Randy's making ramen, I think. Or just running water in the sink. No, I heard a skillet get sat down. Okay, is there a Barbara in the house? I'm going for Barbara's. We're doing another owl in bright copper. You know, I ran to the barn while you wrapped my pumpkin. Oh no, you have a little horse. I'm Barbara. You're not Barbara, Randy. Big Island Gary's got a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Kimmy. Oh my God, the only toy he ever had that he didn't instantly destroy was a trailer hitch ball. <laughs> oh my God, Yvette. <laughs> right on, Katrina. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so we are doing an owl in bright copper. So here we have some 18 gauge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be doing this one in 18 gauge. It can be really helpful to have the right tools and materials lined up before you start patinaing things. Um, I'd recommend a liver of sulfur gel. Just because I found it works a whole lot better than um, the dried liver of sulfur that I've tried using in the past. Hey, my way. Huh? What are you just creepily whispering? I can see you because you only your head's behind the balloon. I can still see the rest of you. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> yes, that's how this works. I can't see you, therefore you can't see me. <laughs> that, oh, that's fair. I hadn't thought of it that way. <laughs> okay. So our last little bit of... 18 gauge half round in bright copper. Hey, Laura. Ooh, good luck through your surgery. I hope everything will be okay. Okay, I'm going to try zooming in. If the stream crashes, I'll be right back. Dun, dun, dun. No, oh, too far. Okay, well, that's right where it was. Right where it was. Okay, okay, that's it. That's what we get. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Dun, 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 dun. Side by side with me. Strange things have happened to you, a stranger. What are you doing with that grabby thing? Okay, so. Leave my coffee, Bee. Get that grab ready. <laughs> It's like, I'll be like, Randy, come be with me. I'm lonely and I miss you. And then he'll just come in and constantly antagonize me. And I'm like, I love you, but please stop it. But don't go away, but stop it. I don't know the meaning of a word. But antagonize? <laughs> <laughs> it's just exactly.
exactly what you're doing. Oh. Like yesterday he was helping me uh, paint balloons because we have some black balloons that I wanted to put like UV reactive like orange glow paint on um, because why not? You know, Halloween party, may as well. Uh, and he kept moving the dang balloon. <laughs> but he does it in a way where he like, I'm like, does he know that he's doing this? Like, surely he's not doing this on purpose. <laughs> he was totally doing it on purpose. And then I was trying to hang them. And he was, like, moving the string to make it be out of my reach. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Doesn't it? Hmm. Who could that have been then? But I love it. Because everybody's always, like, so nice to me and stuff. But Randy, like, doesn't care. He, like... <laughs> He tortures me. It's amazing. <laughs> the disrespect, Wendy. This is Sabaya. Oh my goodness. It smells like WD 40 in here. I gotta get the fan going again. I keep turning it off because I'm cold. But then I don't have any fresh air. Oops. I just threw that for me. Got it. <laughs> you do, Savannah. <laughs> it is not complete. <laughs> strange things have happened here. How strange would it be? So I'm trying to be quick about it, but I'm also trying to be nice and even and not get the wires twisted. And I keep getting tangled on the cord, like the charging cable. So, we're having an auction next week. And I'm kind of nervous. This one is an owl. <laughs> Possibly, k -Tab. Oh no, Gary. <laughs> yeah, the airflow you get is not the airflow you wanted. Oh. Yes. Have a wonderful Halloween party, Christina. Oh, kick the tripod. We may be bursting out the squirrel hands. I'm not certain yet, Sabea. But it's, we currently have the auction items listed on the website on the auction item page. <laughs> Ooh, it sounds like Randy is unloading the kiln. Okay. So now... Now I'm going to shape this around. And I wonder if I can now take this, yes, and just flatten it out. Instead of trying to bend it from the side. Oh, I love it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to wrap a few times, once, twice, and thrice on the back side before splitting out one and two. In Oxana's tutorial, I always think of, um, like, it ends up looking like a little dude, like a little person that's going to just hug the cab. Um, Sabaya asks, do you know if you'll do the members only auction first and then the YouTube one, or will it be one stream on YouTube? It's going to be one stream on YouTube, we do think. Um, 
<laughs> hey KJ. I'm sorry your client didn't show up, but I'm glad you could make it. Um, and it, I was thinking we'd start at noon, but I mean, honestly, is that a good time for y'all? Or like, because we were starting the streams at five. I don't know. But I just worry that if we started at five, I'm going to be going until the wee wee hours. <laughs> wee wee hours. I don't know. We might, we might start them at five. We'll see. Um, I might do a poll or something. Right on. And see, and that's what Randy was thinking because we were like kind of debating it. Um, today we did at noon just because we've got to be up like early for a baby shower tomorrow and we still need to prep up for our own Halloween party on Sunday. Um, but we may do the auctions at like five or something. Tea time. What time is tea time? Because <laughs> uh, to me, if I'm having tea, it's tea time. Hey, Wendy. What do you think of us having the auctions a little later in the day than noon? What? What, what do you think of us having the auctions a little later in the day? Yeah, I'm thinking like three or five. Three or five? Yeah. Right on. Cool. I love Randy so much. I love y'all too. Y'all are the greatest. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to just come and craft and chat and hang out. Like, this is wonderful. Ooh, chai tea latte. So Lewis says 2 p.m. is tea time. <laughs> Randy's just in the kitchen going, I'm the greatest. <laughs> Which anybody who's ever played um, Smite, <laughs> that's like one of the things that the characters will yell. That they can like press buttons and make it yell things. Uh, <laughs> right on. It's <laughs> a <Sabaya. laughs> Yeah. Oh, I keep doing that too soon. But it does give a little shelf for the little butt to sit on. Woohoo! Uh, this is not a pumpkin, it's an owl. Oh no, I'm putting pants on and can't fit. Oh no, pro! That's rough. <laughs> okay, so we are going to take this and we're folding in, making his little eyes. <laughs> You know, folks say that, but honest to goodness, Randy and I are just like a couple of walruses sunning ourselves on the beach. Like, we're hungry, we're itchy, we're grumpy. <laughs> like, it's a good thing. It works for me. I like it. I got to admit, I thought for sure that would force fate to uh, make my right up here. Yeah. <laughs> about halfway through. Y'all! Wendy made me woman. <laughs> oh, pro no! That's rough, buddy. I have some pliers and a blowtorch. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna flip this around to see if. Did you take your shirt off to cook? No, to do the kiln. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Ooh, bar. <laughs> as long as he's not looking. Mm. No promise. <laughs> no, we don't do that, Silver. That's weird. That's totally like we wouldn't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some ramen or something. It's so warm. Ouch! It's very hot. Um, so we're gonna do some Q and A for a little bit. Well, um. Well, my ramen cools. Maru-chan. You know, times are hard when the ramen starts getting prices raised. That is kind of cold, though. But it makes it smell like the meaty 40 if I don't... What if I... What if I go like this? What if I take this and I clamp it here? And then have it blow everything over. Do y'all want to see my balloons? Woo! <laughs> Ta-da! 
Okay, so the color scheme looks terrible, but it looks really cool under a black light, you guys. So this is going to be the balloon arch. It does not stay in the house. I just had to get it away from the dogs and the cats. Um, your life is a party, isn't it? Ugh, I guess. Like, it's it's putting on a party. <laughs> I like it. I really do. But it, it does kind of match my top. Hmm, I like that. Um, but we're having a Halloween party this weekend. So we have to get kind of crazy with it. Hello, G. Um, I'm in. <laughs> Just hope I don't have to take off my belt when I get a few beers in me. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> get some, like, stretchy pants, man. It's the way of the future. I gotta go grab my notes so I can show you guys the party plans. I have my stretchy pants. Yeah? Ooh, you are wearing pants. We're going out in public in shorts yesterday. A little... Really? Yeah. 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 If y'all have seen over on the Vonster vlog, any of my garden tours, oh, we were try we, we capped it out at 10 people. So that's why we weren't like sending out invites. This is the biggest I've ever hosted. And if this year goes well, we're going to try to have maybe like a little um, autumn fairy festival at like a campground or something next year. Like, oh, like a private thing, but we might actually, since it wouldn't be hosted at our home, we might be able to invite multiple people and stuff so this is our backyard <laughs> and so our regular garden beds are everything's normal don't you dare feel bad <laughs> well but in my heart it's like i don't want to tell you guys about a party that you can't come to because it's like on sunday and in my backyard and we don't have enough chairs for everybody so <laughs> but yes of course i drew it all out stephanie i also have like a little flip book of like so many notes but our petting zoo is the chicken enclosure and we're, I can't get the rabbits to wear hats. They keep eating them. But um, I was going to like decorate their cages to be like, ooh, spooky. Um, but I don't want them to eat anything. So we're just going to use like creepy paper and straw crepe. and crepe paper. <laughs> and, um, and we're going to feed them red peppers so that the two white rabbits that are brother and sister. So I named them. Cersei and Jamie Lannister um and but we're gonna feed them red peppers so they look like the beasts of Carbonog and then Jet he's like solid black so he's already a spooky boy um <laughs> they do Mary Hart because you get I got him these like little straw like doll hats and they just eat them um but yeah so that's gonna be the petting zoo but it's basically just gonna be mud back there so I don't think anybody's actually gonna go pet him except for me um and then over in this area where we were growing all of our tomatoes we got the tomatoes taken down and we're putting the kitchen tent so that's a 10 by 10 and we have like a really cheap rug from Walmart that like one of the dogs barfed on and then we hosed it off in the yard but it can't come back in the house because I don't trust it well we're gonna put it on the ground outside um that way I'm not standing in the mud while we're cooking in the kitchen tent and then right here's our pergola and we're gonna be putting the balloons on the edge of the pergola with like Christmas lights in like behind them so that the balloons will glow and then this whole fence line here since the chickens killed everything that it was growing in that bed, I'm putting the balloons along that line there. And the balloons are 100% latex, and I'm going to be composting all of them. And I will keep you guys posted with how that goes. Um, but right here is our aerial rigging. And this is going to be our black light corner. So this has black light reactive balloons in it. Like, the white ones glow really nicely. The black ones have uv reactive acrylic paint like swirled onto them if we stream late enough in the evening and it gets dark we will totally turn on the black light uh so that you guys can see how it looks when it's glowing but we're gonna put that and then are the row covers that we use to keep the moths off of the cabbages and stuff fluoresce wonderfully under a black light so we're gonna put those on the back side and we have a bubble machine that has uv reactive bubbles and um but we have regular daytime bubbles too um and then uh the fire pits over here i drew it in the wrong spot because scale um but we're gonna have like a sitting area around there and we have tiki torches and the hammocks over here and we've got like little lanterns on either end and this is a little sitting spot 
and then um hopefully i hope people actually show up like ah, it's gonna be so miserably cold but we're gonna have the grill over here mostly for like a hobo fire because that way we have fires at either end of the yard but we gotta get the straw bales for me to set up the fairy villages on oops i threw it uh because I gathered up all of the little fairy houses and everything. Oh my god, a fog machine would be so cool. If we could put the fog machine behind the bubble machine so that the bubbles filled up with oh, fog. That's a cool idea. But. Putting red food coloring in the bubble machine. Would that make the bubbles all red? Yep. I think that might creep Catherine out. Yeah. Cause I couldn't, even, I can't put my skulls out because she's not into that, and I, I get it. But if, <laughs> cause she, she and I are gonna be the ones primarily playing in the bubbles. Yeah, that's fair. So, <laughs> but maybe if Catherine's ever like, ah, I don't feel like coming to your Halloween party, we could totally try that. But uh, we're gonna have, we're using the straw bales to stick tiki torches in and like putting like pumpkins on, and the little fairy village. Like this is gonna be Fairy Row down through here, and um. Yeah, I'm definitely, I, I don't think we'll be streaming the party, but we are going to be getting vlog footage of, like, at least this. What was that? I don't know, I guess the balloon popped. Mm. It wasn't the little raisin one. Huh. Oh, I'm all, like, sweaty now. Which one popped? Are you okay, Sam? I know that scares you. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Come here. It's okay. You're all right. You're okay. Sam's just sitting there like, I didn't do it. Well, that was the first one to have popped. And I don't see... I don't see where it went. So I don't know which one it was. Oh, well. Well, that scared me. Um, oi. <laughs> right, Yvette? Because I was going to bring it up, I was like, well, maybe you could go sooner, but mm, we'll probably still have a bunch of, like, deflated, um, tiki pumpkins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, a bunch of deflated, sad-looking balloons. Yeah, exactly, Silver, that's what we were thinking. I know, baby boy. <laughs> it scared me, too. Now, you gotta let me eat my noodles, though. I gotta get a bite of noodles real quick, but if y'all have any questions, just... Shoot them at me and I'll do my best. Z, can I eat this in peace, please? No? Okay. Y'all, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so, I'm trying to eat my nudes. <laughs> can I help you, buddy? Hmm? <laughs> he just sits there. He's like, drop something. Drop something. <laughs> Since I got to work the most doing, dressing my great Dana up in his... Headless Horseman costume? That sounds amazing! <laughs> he is. He's trying to help. I'm very glad to be hanging out with other humans. Hopefully, if any of them show up. This ramen is really good. Hey, Randy. Mm. It's really good ramen. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And I gotta make deviled eggs, but I'm not very good at seasoning them, so hopefully Izzy will come over and season my my deviled eggs for me. So. Do you have enough eggs after that Cronenberg? I, I did. I tried, okay, so I tried doing a test batch of um, some really old eggs from the garden in my Instapot. And it, it looked horrifying like I guess one of the eggs kind of exploded it looked like special effects from the alien movies Z come on buddy that, that's just rude I don't come and bother well, I do come and bother you while you're eating it looked Cronenberg like hard um <laughs> and I think a couple of the eggs had gone bad so the whole pot just like stank Ooh. so put food coloring in while you're boiling the eggs <gasps> okay that sounds awesome which food coloring tastes best I guess is what I should be asking Ooh. right on Yvette I'm always partial to purple so 
You want purple food coloring? Is that your favorite flavor, Randy? Purple flavored? Yeah, that's true. Okay, the stream is back. I'm so sorry, guys. It just, it takes, I have to restart the phone every time that happens or it will not reconnect. So I actually slurped down my ramen <laughs> super quick. I'm going to go take this to the kitchen. I will be right back. I got you. I got you. Okay, guys. We are back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry for the technical difficulties. We are back and at it wrapping. Ah, right away. What are you guys in for? What's happening? Well, thank you, but I don't know what's happening. Oh, that's a really good idea, comatose. <laughs> Used to make really bad dragon eye necklaces with anodized scales and fractura. Would you consider doing a tutorial for those? Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, horseradish. Donica, I like that. Oh my gosh, stream version of a shop game. Everyone donate a dollar when the stream crashes. Oh my god. Well, thank you. But that's not fair because I know that it has a tendency to if I like trade views or like move it around or look at it. Um. <laughs> Don't pull me away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all are the greatest. Thank you. And you don't even gotta be giving me money to be the greatest either. Like, the, the what we always tell people is the best way to support our channel is to take care of yourselves first. Hey, Jennifer. Strange things have happened here. How stranger would it be? Oh, is it? Sorry. <laughs> okay, I do like doing the main part of the eye on my stick mandrel. But I think I prefer doing the small part of the eye like Oksana shows in her tutorial. using the mandrel pliers. I like deviled eggs a lot. I like them with like onion and pickle chopped up in them too. 
but nobody else in my house likes pickles so and <laughs> um I used to make curried deviled eggs that were made with like instead of mayo we used plain Greek yogurt and would put like a bunch of like curry powder and like turmeric and stuff in it and they were they were okay they were different but typically I just use like mayo mustard um like a bit of dill weed in them a bunch of garlic I love garlic and that's not everybody's cup of tea though so but considering most of the people who are coming are Izzy's family and friends, uh, I was going to be like, hey Izzy, come make the deviled eggs the way you guys like them. <laughs> Since I'm a silly crafter, I thought I would. Yeah, you did kind of curry Satan eggs one year and it wasn't a big hit. Yeah, well you and I liked them. I'm not going to repeat what we call them, though. What? Right on. Well, I appreciate you, Kara. You're hilarious. I love pickles. I tried making my own pickles, and they're questionable. <laughs> like... Uh, I was trying to do, like, at home, those, uh, Clausen pickles. And, I don't know, the recipe, I don't like apple cider vinegar. Like, there are a few things in this world that, like, immediately activate my gag reflex. And apple cider vinegar straight is one of them. Um, because I was like, oh, this will be good for, like, there was so much, like, that I was reading that was touting the health benefits of consuming apple cider vinegar and I was like yeah I'll try this and I'm like nope <laughs> and the recipe was like half apple cider vinegar half white vinegar and I was like well I like claws and pickles so I'll trust the recipe and it came out so apple cider vinegary um that I can't really eat them but now I have about six quarts of pickles in my fridge because Apparently, I'm too uh, short-sighted to test a recipe before canning up all of my pickles. Okay. So, we've got... I'm going to start training these guys around and through where I want them to be. And I'm going to bend right here boop, and try to get that through. Give it a smush. So if we're not able to get the straw bales tonight, honey, I think we should just stick the tiki torches in the ground. Okay. Because I need to um, test them to see if they hold up when it's windy like this. I think that's a really great plan. Okay. I haven't. I just really like that song. Like, I've never seen past the first Hunger Games movie. But that song was suggested by Spotify, and I was like, ooh, this is really nice. And I was like, what is this from? Oh. That song is from Hunger Games? Uh-huh. Apparently. Huh. I know it from Penny Dreadful. The Hanging Tree one? Yeah. Um. Isn't it? Nope. That's the, um, cold blows the wind to my true love and gently falls the rain. I never had 
but one to love, and in green would he lie slain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Smash. Right on, Sabaya. Right on, Iris. Yeah, Randy and I never really do much drinking. <laughs> says that's why you put socks on first real fat men like me know that <laughs> that's amazing uh in the cosplaying convention in ren fair scene it's always boots then corset because trying to get your boots on after you have your corset on is just you need a friend to help <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye, Kay. Thanks for hanging out. Marie, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Erica. He has, hasn't he? Well, if you're going to do something, you may as well make an adventure out of it. Snoop. What distresses you, my love? My sweet little Sam dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh no. Hey, Misha, how's it going? Yeah, I feel like we're finally getting around to our regularly scheduled schedule. <laughs> so yeah, we'll definitely do the auctions not at noon. But again, I'm really, really glad. Thank you guys so much for coming in early today. Um, just because with our tight schedule this weekend. There we go. Didn't need to thread through right there again. Where did uh oh? Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. Mm -hmm. I'm doing really good today. Enjoying myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right on, Dianica. 
That's awesome. Okay, so now from here, I'm going to snip right there. Flip my snips and snip right there. There we go. Smushing those down. Very cool. Now we get to do the little wings on the back. Just cinching that. Bringing that down. Bringing that down. Okay. And yay! It worked. Cinching that down. There we go. And there we have this is Barbara's little owl. I love him. He's so cute. And all of our pendants get a matching uh, chain. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Yvonne. Order up, my love. Oh, hers is the one that I spilled coffee all over her order. Just a sec. Can you stay for a moment? I just miss you. What you miss about me? Um, how warm you are. <laughs> no, oh, come back, warm, warm, handsome man. Please. That ain't the story of my life. Right? Yeah, they close in 20 minutes. As it happens. Well, could I ask you to do something for me? What's that? Could you go with that list that I made for you and just get the feed? Because yeah. that's something we can get in our car. Thank you, honey. Okay, drive safe, honey. Um, if they're out of the 18% pen pals, yeah. um, just ask whichever, yeah, but, uh, I don't know if they're still carrying that in stock either. So just whatever their highest protein percentage is. Okay. Thank you, honey. Okay, Bye, honey. Yeah, it's the one on the shelf. Well, the, the order slip has a coffee stain on it because apparently I was keeping my coffee cup above. You want anything else while I'm out and about? Nine straw bales. <laughs> anything that can fit in the car, like fast food. No, I'm good. Like a milkshake. Ooh. I'm not going to drop them. Ah. That's the other side of town. No, I don't need all that sugar. Thank you, though, honey. You're the greatest. 
He just like, yeah. It's like, psh. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm trying to quit fast food. Uh, honestly, unless it's from like a couple of places, it just doesn't taste as good as it should. Like, like Five Guys has my favorite because I love just a greasy, cheesy, good, like lots of pickles, good bread burger. And Five Guys has that. And so it's like, unless it's a Five Guys burger, I'm like, I'll just make it at home. It tastes just as good and takes just as long. <laughs> well, actually tastes better. Unless I boogered up somehow. Ha ha! We're unsupervised! <laughs> and I don't think he's wearing his headset on the car. No, he's not. He left it on the table. Ha ha! <laughs> A super sniffer. Oh no. I miss Wendy. There he goes. The house is so quiet. I'm just sitting here like, what stuff that I want to do that I'm not allowed to do when Randy's in the house? Let's go set stuff on fire. <laughs> no, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> Party time. <laughs> now we've got two more orders to fill. And then technically, I could just work on inventory for the rest of the night. Um... <laughs> We have them here. Not only amazing burgers, but like to die for fries. Pretty sure they're also the ones who legit dump extra scoop fries in the bag too. Yes. Get a grocery bag. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Is there a Julie in the house? Oh, I get to do a crystal wrap with antique silver. Fire. Hey. <laughs> Definitely Savannah. <laughs> like, are we just parallel universe like cousins or something like very very similar interests i can dig it okay now we do have more um shameless self-promotion calves and crap up on the website if you guys are interested in a custom wrap just for you but also we may leave all that fun stuff to later in the month because we've got auctions coming up all sorts of different things going on the matrix is real it is yeah <laughs> did you notice the bowl of ramen glorious glorious ramen not complaining but also very budget friendly right on Drax Oh no, I did it wrong. Guess we'll have to figure something else out. Strange things have happened here. How stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree? Are you, are you coming to the tree? Oh no. Sabaya no. <laughs> zoom in more but I don't want to crash the stream <laughs> Gary how many how many screen names do you have bro like <laughs> or is that even Gary do they just have a minion as well <laughs> I mean, oh no. Yep. So at this point, I'm kind of just panic wrapping. Um, 
there we go, to try to get it to do things. There we go. Well, someone does have a birthday this month. Ooh, is it Jax's birthday or Propool's birthday? Fortunately, Randy loves spam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I get that impression as well. There we go. Getting some smush going. Right on. Really? That's so strange, Kira. Yeah, that was, it was baloney. We could buy a whole chub of it for like five bucks from like Save a Lot. And we ate a whole lot of baloney and rice. Well, happy early birthday, Jax's mom. Strange things have happened here. No, I grew up on like fried egg sandwiches, but Randy really hates those. I think he had them one too many times for a few years too many. Baras Balogna. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, now that sounds pretty nice, Kara. It actually sounds really good. I should get some and, like, make that for Randy sometime. I bet he'd love a fried bologna sandwich. So we are now working on our last order of the day so far. Um, is there a... I can't read this. Let's see. Oh, this is the one where he was like, bear copper. Norala. Is there a Norala who ordered an owl wrap from us in bear copper? Mm-hmm. So for this one, I do actually have 21 gauge half round and 20 gauge round in copper. Ah, right on, Cookie Belt. Well, I'm so sorry you've been waiting this whole time. I didn't make the connection between screen name and uh, purchase name. I can text Randy while in a live stream. Randy, are you watching this in the car? You should be driving. But also, I'm kind of hungry now because I thought about food a whole bunch. Even though I just ate a bunch of ramen. Sa Sam's upset about something too. Sam, do you want some chicken nugs, buddy? Sam? What are we gonna do? Where's dad? <laughs> Randy, come back. We don't know what to do without you. Ooh, baked beans and sauce. <laughs> right on, Cookie. Well, let me pet these dogs a bunch. Oh, no, Sam. I know, it's so hard. Look at that little tail wagon. Do you want to be bees for Halloween? We could make little flowers for them to wear on their heads and they could be, no, just flowers, <laughs> I guess. We could be hot dogs.
You want to be a hot dog, too? You are a hot dog. Scooch, 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 scooch. Uh, it did, Gary. I'm sorry. Uh, do you want me to dig it out and show it to you? Ooh, flower crowns. Yes. How's that, Z? Get out of here. Go on. I gotta get back to work. <laughs> Little bat wings. Oh my god, Erica. Yes. And I even have ah, I even have the the um what's it called? Foam. I can make some little foam bat wings. Oh Erica, I love it. Bat dog. Right on. Call them allergies if you make them flowers. <laughs> Love it. Oh, little gargoyles. Okay. So for this, I think I'm just going to work off the spool. Now the 21 gauge. Yeah, that's the flat side. And this is bare copper. Hey, Linda, how's it going? <laughs> right on. <laughs> oh, it came out really pretty gay. Not to toot my own horn, but... Toot toot. Ah. Um, I don't know if Randy's watching this, but I think they can get straw at Lowe's. Oh, and I don't know how to text them, if not from my phone. Oh. Strange things have happened here. How stranger would it be if we met? Possibly. But um it'll probably just get done tomorrow. It's not it's not a huge deal. We can still set up the tiki torches. Um and I mostly just wanted to take it at set up today so that we could do a test burn because it's very windy or was very windy there it goes um today in that way i could see if the tiki torches hold up to this kind of wind and like just how it illuminates the yard to see if we need to do more tiki torches or if it's overkill or like ah hey kara <laughs> alarm just went off straw from a local pumpkin patch maybe um i don't think we have any around here but I don't know mm -hmm. hey Penny how's it going when you're being responsible and paying bills so no extra shopping trips to Michael's but then someone orders a thing and you have to get specific supplies <laughs> hashtag winning eee, go Tashers <laughs> this 21 gauge is like oof. Oh, we do, and that's where we were going to go, and they close at 5, like, so in four minutes. And our friend just texted, and they're like, I don't have my truck yet. So we're like, it's perfectly okay. We can do it tomorrow, or worst case scenario, just not have any straw bales. I don't think it'll be the end of the world. Like, because really, like, I was dual-purposing. The straw bales are primarily for it gets cold this week, like, really cold. So I wanted to have some nice, fresh straw for the chickens and um, some more um, hay for the rabbits for them to nestle down into and munch on <clears throat> so it's not completely urgent that it gets done before halloween but i did think it'd be really cute for the halloween party to have like a bunch of hay bales everywhere oh you're good mary heart i, I don't think i had specified it actually Mm -hmm. 
Here, just a sec. I don't know if I can. If I click this, what will, will it do? Oh shoot, I'm sorry. No, I can't check stuff. Okay. <laughs> Postmates, hey, what's Postmates? Oh, there's my Randy. Okay, I will be right back, you guys. in this bag. I didn't get, him to get to give him a kiss though, but okay, we're back. <sighs> right now, Linda, I'm working on a, um, <laughs> a, uh, wire wrapped owl for, um, cookie. Cookie bell, right? Yes. <sighs> he is the best. He is. Don't sigh like that. No, you're the best too. <clears throat> but he's he he went to the feed store and got the feed before they closed, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. He did. And then um, I think he's going to keep talking to our friend Pam. Uh, poor thing still hasn't gotten her truck back. It's got to be so stressful. Like, I understand from the mechanic's perspective, but also as the client's perspective, it is like the worst having to wait around. Like, because I mean, you need your vehicle. <laughs> right on, Yvonne. <laughs> it's good stuff. He's very thoughtful. And he, he does have the stream playing in the car, but like the lag is so real. So like I went in, I went out to the car cause I saw him park in front of the house, which is, he never does that. So I knew he was like, wanting me to come out. Um, and it was right during the part of the stream where I was going baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> and just that we were making direct eye contact with each other right as past Vaughn's yelling baked beans um and you just see in his face he's like I can't believe we get to do this for a living <laughs> baked beans aggressively indeed <laughs> Oh, that does sound so good, Silver. Okay. So we have... I'm going to do just a little bit further with this half round. I keep trying to not twist it up. And I also would love to zoom in, but I don't want to crash the stream. It, it's just killing you that I'm not opening. What is even in here? You got so much food. Oh my god. Chicken strips. And french fries. Okay, I'm going to keep working, though. Bring this around town.
There we go. One, two, and three. Now we're going to start the twisty down the spine. I'm getting the arms up out of the way. Everyone is hungry when the chat gets quiet. Everyone must be rummaging in their kitchens. I was just thinking that, Savannah. <laughs> well, it is, you know, like dinner time and stuff. Y'all take a bio break. Get yourselves fed, watered. Water a bush, you know. <laughs> All the good stuff. Didn't I literally, like, just eat ramen, though? Sam is intensely watching me eat french fries. And he's back already. Test fitting. <laughs> That's true. Okay, cool. Looks like a really good length for that. Sam, is Daddy home? Is that Papa? You should go say hey to him at the door. He loves to see your little tail wag. He's like, no, I'm gonna sit here and watch you until you give me French fries. <laughs> I didn't know that that was such a thing, Yvette. Sounds amazing. <laughs> nice. That sounds like a good lunch, Mary Hart. <laughs> Ooh. to her. You're gonna have some big ol' eyes. <laughs> then charge extra. <laughs> Bunch of entrepreneurs up in here. Bye, Marie. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Hustler's gonna hustle. Yeah, I really like using the pliers for that section because it holds all the wires stable. Hey, Katie. Do you have a busy day ahead of you? days are good days though. Lazy days are good days too. Strange things have happened in the street. What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? 
What you gonna do with the junkie says early in the morning? Way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises early in the morning. Thrown in the brig until he's sober, thrown in the brig until he's sober, thrown in the brig until he's sober. We hail up she rises, we hail up she rises. Am I having a stroke or do the lights just go out? Oh, lights went up. Okay. Hello, my love. Hello. What up? Cashier lady at the drive thru was like, again? <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, okay. Well, it was nice of you to bring it so quick, but you could have ordered your own food too. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this was your food round yeah. one that you sacrificed to me? Yeah. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Nah, and I shouldn't joke so light about it. We've lost friends due to strokes, but it's also, we all, all of us who had lost this mutual friend were like, is that burnt boast? Because if you're not laughing, you're crying. Ooh. Of course, mm. as I'm ordering the second time, I get to hear you talk about, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, really? <laughs> that lag is really real then, isn't it? <laughs> well, thank you, Randy. I am very blessed to have so many people who are so kind to me in my life. Dianica, I like the way you think. Dianica just said, I wonder if you can make hash browns in an air fryer. Bet your butt I'll try. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to try to get this cinched down like so for his little, for his little owl head. Nope. Other side. Okay. I kind of like it. I do think best the way Xana taught it with the 20 gauge, which like the 20 gauge is so hard for me to work with because like I'm very, very heavy handed with stuff. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, they do. I went over here like nibbling on mine because I wanted to finish this this piece, baby. I don't think that baby blanket's gonna get done tonight. <laughs> well, because like in the back of my mind, I was like, well, I might be able to finish one of them, like the really bulky finger knit yarn. Nope, not gonna, not gonna happen. But I mean, to be fair, the baby's not done cooking yet. He's not ready till January, so I can do the baby blankets for Christmas presents or something for him. Yeah, I, I'm working on actually three blankets because I had started one and then was like, I don't have the right knitting needle for this and the crochet hook that I have. Like, crochet makes like big holes, which for I think an adult isn't so bad. Um, but 
whenever it's a baby, especially a newborn, I didn't want him to get it in like a little fingers or toes tangled in the blanket. So I was like, this isn't going to work for that. Um, and then another one I was going to crochet, but, uh, that, that was going to take way too long. So I had gotten it as the Christmas one. And then the third blanket is still a bulky yarn, but I was knitting it and it's just, there's too much else going on and it's going to take a while to, uh, to knit. So like, I think if I had like, cause I budgeted it and it's like, I was going to have to do 25 rows a day if I started on Monday and it's like, I got six done in an hour and I was like, I don't have time for this right now. So they might get a half finished DIY blanket kit <laughs> for the baby shower. <laughs> I mean, we got like a mess of other stuff too, though. So, um, like we, we went to their, um, baby registry and basically spent last week's shop update on stuff for their baby because babies. <laughs> Hello, my love. Is this one done? Yeah, did she buy another one? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, my fingers. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, I think that one's done, honey. You might want to check, Chloe. Okay, she says Lowe's definitely does. Okay. And they close at nine, right? Uh, probably. Okay. How many? Nine straw bales. Okay. If they can, I don't know how many she can fit in her truck bed. So... And honestly, if it's much later, uh, we might be able to help her load and unload them. Ooh, oh, that's cute. See, I've never made hat booties and bibs. I just thought, blanket, that's a big square. I can do that. Cannot do that. Shave his belly with a rusty razor early in the morning. Waiting up to you. Oh, honey. Well, I mean, they're not visible yet, are they? No. Okay. What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do with a drunken sailor? Throw them in the bed with the captain's brother. Throw them in the bed with the captain's brother. Throw them in the bed with the captain's brother. Hey, hey, nup, she rises. Hey, hey. Oh, um, what are you going to do with a drunken sailor? I'm trying to think of all the, uh, verses I can remember. Because there is the one that's throw him in the brig until he's sober, and then shave his belly with a rusty razor was probably my favorite one, because that'll teach him. <laughs> like, you know, that doesn't instill discipline. And then, um, throw him in, a, in, a, in the bed with the captain's daughter. Uh, to get him in trouble. <laughs> or Captain's brother. <laughs> um, and my favorite is, uh, What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Put your arms around him and love him forever. Put your arms around him and love him forever. Put your arms around him and love him forever. 
early in the morning. Waking up, she rises, waking up, she rises, waking up, she rises, early in the morning. My dad was in the Navy, and my mom would sing that to him. No, I don't think I've ever in my whole life had seen my dad take a drink of anything, but still. It's a fond memory. And I tell you what, if I could get Randy to dress up like a pirate, hot dog. <laughs> Like, the heart wants what the heart wants, and apparently my heart is all about gamers who are also secretly pirates and or blacksmiths. So. <laughs> there we go, another little happy owl. What do you think, Cookie Bee? Maybe. Oh, I'm so glad that you like it, Cookie. Get him a date with the Captain Starter. Right on. Oh, wow, Linda, that's amazing. Right? Let's tidy up this workspace a little bit before we get started on what is now our last order. Oh my gosh, so she got two more? Okay. And she wants this one is a pumpkin, and this one's an owl. Okay. Very cool. Ah, okay, Gary. We'll be sure to do that. Okay. I'm going to do a pumpkin. Arguers, I don't know what you mean by that. Ah, uh, well thanks, Pro. We'll see you around, man. Have a great rest of your day. Possibly. And I, I honestly kind of hope that he does. <laughs> Q. 
Okay, so I'm doing four, maybe 12 to 14 inch lengths of 21 gauge square. And then we're going to come in with this is eight twenty one gauge half round. And doing about twelve inches of that as well until we get to. Um, until we get to the bail, and then I'm going to be doing some more. Just trying to tidy up a little. <laughs> doing some hand stretches. I'll be right back. Give me just a little bit, y'all. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so now we have, you know, what's my charge even at? I'm at 100, I'll unplug for a little bit. I'm gonna zoom back in. Hey, Elijah, how's it going? Whoops. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey LT, it has. Why are wrapping for five hours now? That's good though. Gotten quite a bit made in five hours. Mmm, right on. I don't think I've ever seen that kit. Sounds fun though. Oops, getting ahead of myself. Late seventies, very cool. Well, I'm just doing this all wrong, aren't I? Swiss Family Robinson. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Right, I'm not doing it correctly. Keep going is not the right answer. Wow. <laughs> right on. 
Yeah, you never know what you might be able to scrounge up from a scrap pile. That's I keep this whole drawer off to the uh, right of me. Just chock full of... I don't think I'll be able to salvage that. Just chock full of all of my scrap. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? What up, baby? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing really good, Kathy. I don't know if y'all, I probably couldn't hear Randy, but he's back and he's like, I ate so fast, I am speed. And then he's quiet for a few moments and he was like, what, what was it you had said? When you eat an entire puzzle. When you eat an entire puzzle in three hours and it says five to seven years. <laughs> uh, Pam's here, babe. Yep. All right. Nine? Yes, please. Okay. You're the greatest. Thank you. I don't have my keys, so I'm gonna me out. Alrighty. Haru! No, it's okay. He's going to get me straw bales. I can handle this. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea in little bins. Unsupervised part two. logging in on the web page. I joined the one for 12 month club and now I can't find the login. Also not sure what it includes. Having a really hard time navigating. Um, after the stream, Silver, uh, if you could send me an email at your convenience, I can get back to you after the stream and be able to provide you with specific links because we may need to, sometimes it can take a day or two for our system to catch up and be like, this person is actually logged in for this or eligible for that and etc. Um, the $1 puts you on, um, you'll get access to our uh, members only newsletters and our members only page, um, but it does not get you access to the digital download content or any booty boxes or anything like that. So again, if you send us an email, I'll send you um, a reply with all the pertinent links and things and hopefully help you get that sorted out. Ah, right on. Yeah. <laughs> so any way that I can be helpful to you. Is it inappropriate story time with Vaughn? I don't know. Because, like, Randy's not here. And, like, just in my head just now, I was like, he soothes the ragged edges of my soul. And I'm like, oh, my God. He's been gone for, like, a minute, Vaughn. You're so melodramatic. And I'm like, oh, my love is lost at sea. <laughs> like. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So yeah, maybe inappropriate story time. What do you guys want to hear inappropriate stories about? Aw, Dianica. That's so sweet. Do 
you send booty boxes and supplies to Australia? Not currently. We actually have like a mail ban unless we ship via um, UPS, which I don't even know if that's still in effect, um, that we can't send stuff to Australia. So, um, not, not for now. <laughs> so, though we will keep everybody posted if we are able to start doing that again. I lost the other half. There it is. <laughs> right on, Tamara. Okay, so now I'm coming through. I really need to start doing this part before I curve it, just because it's so much easier. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, I got stuck in something again. I'm trying to remember what happened though. And again, Randy just kind of laughed at me this time. It was like the hammock incident. I'm trying to remember where I was at that I got stuck. Oh, I laughed so hard I fell out of my chair and like got my leg tangled up between the arm of it. But I don't think that was the time. I don't recall. <laughs> yeah, we're not even shipping to Canada currently. It is last Christmas we had so many problems with we would send out boxes and they were not getting there in time if they showed up at all. Um and it was like, you know, sometimes with some of our heavier boxes, it was like thirty dollars to ship it. Um, like for a fifty dollar uh booty box it cost us $30 to ship it to Canada. Um, and then to be like, maybe it'll show back up. Um, and even the smallest boxes cost us 15. So we appreciate y'all's patience and understanding. What you working on with resin, Kelly? Okay, so now we can bring these around. Is that even a good size? Yeah, it's a pretty good size. Oh my gosh, I'm all itchy all of a sudden. Bending that around. You know, these little charms while back, and I figured, hey, I can put them on the keychains, get rid of them for like five bucks each. Band Aid City. Oh no. Well, are you trimming them down with like a razor or something? Or, because I mean, if you mask up and go outside, a Dremel makes pretty quick work of some of that stuff. I never quite have a steady enough hand. Um, for doing things like that, but using a small hand drill right on. Okay, so there's up top. And I do think this is going to be our last order of the day. Um, just because I don't know how long it's going to take them at Lowe's to pick up to pick up the straw bales, but I'm not about to have Randy throw in nine straw bales by himself whenever it's you know, <laughs> my own doing that's gotten him into the mess. <gasps> oh, Linda! Oh, kitties! <laughs> oh my god, Sabaya, I'm kind of, I don't know, like, it seems so surreal to be doing it. Um, 
that we're almost a third of almost a third of the way done. We're into the triple digit mark almost. Um, but it's kind of a uh, Dread Pirates Roberts scenario where it's like, okay, well, good job today. Surely you'll fail tomorrow, <laughs> like kind of stuff. Like, um, so I'm just trying to take it one day at a time and not get too caught up on focusing on you know, the calendar count, but also at the same time, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like, <laughs> oh, thanks, Sabaya. I I'm feeling so much stronger, um, and, like, I feel like my balance and coordination is getting a little better, and I record in the mornings of the day prior, um, and that has started to leave me the afternoons, evenings free to fit in a second yoga session, where I'm not recording, but I'm actually like studying or like following along with somebody else's yoga practice. And so far, I've only done that like twice this week, I think. Um, but it's, I'm hoping that, you know, maybe after things slow down after uh, the holidays, that maybe I'll be able to go and take a yoga class at like the Y, the YMCA here in town and get some more like in-person experience and everything like that and just I don't know I think it'd be really really cool because <laughs> I don't think I've saved anything for 100 days running I have been consistent in my life only in that I have been very inconsistent uh are the like literally the only things Ooh, Sabaya says I loved day 88 I think the one with the silk wrap I need to order one I did a second day but it, I was very very tired and it didn't come out as well. Like the video didn't, I think. I don't think it flowed as well. Um, I still had fun, but I don't know if it was as good of an instruction. Sometimes just doing yoga and having fun doesn't make for the best lesson for other people. I mean... But who knows? Consistency and inconsistency feels... Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, that's okay, too. So I feel like our past action defined our past selves, but it's our present and current actions that define us in this moment and in the future. So I try to not be hard on myself for all of the times I have fallen, but to be focusing on, yes, every time I get back up. So it's not the falling that defines us. It's that we keep getting back up. Okay. And cutting off about 16 to 20 inches. She's my friend who wants to order one, but she's almost six feet and doesn't know if the size would work for her. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I, if she has quite a long arm span to match her height, um, she'll probably be holding that veil at the ends of it, quite possibly. Um, and you know, I was gonna try to get some silks, like a uh, silk veils off of like Dharma trading in bulk, and then just dyeing them myself. Oops, didn't mean to bump the camera. Um, but I don't know if they have sizes that are much bigger, honestly. But they're, they're like 20 or 25 bucks, which for a silk veil is not that bad. Um, like I've seen them sold for like, you know, three to five times as much sometimes. Um, sorry, thinking for a sec. Just folding this around on the bale. Okay, I'm gonna bring that one up and snip. Kit says, the only thing I've done consistently is fail to meet all my goals for the day. I get that. And uns unsolicited advice. <laughs> um, set a goal for like the moment or the next five minutes. Or the next 30 minutes or the next hour and have it be 
like the easiest most achievable thing that it's like I am going to do this anyways but like so for be like okay I'm setting the goal for the next 30 minutes I am going to do self-care in the bathroom whether that's brushing my teeth whether it's gargling I might floss for the first time and like God knows how long um <laughs> like uh you know, I'm, I'm going to do like a clay mask or just wash my face or like just do my nails or something. So just set that goal because it might it might be something that you're going to do anyways. But just if you set it as a goal, your brain is going to approach it even minutely differently than if you were just kind of going through the motions. And then you can manage the momentum, you know, because your brain's going to give you that little bit of a, what is it, a dopamine reward? And you can just kind of manage your momentum from one tiny achievable seemingly insignificant baby step into the next and into the next and into the next and that's the strategy that I use whenever I'm like in a depression slump or just feeling like absolute cabbage um is to just do the smallest most achievable doesn't matter if you feel like it deserves a gold star or not give yourself a freaking gold star for doing the thing because you did it like so i hope that that's good advice <laughs> Ooh, right on good idea dionica work on my mouth each day. Right on. Yep. That's a way to go about it, Sabaya. It's a hole in my love cup. I'm hoping I can get through two chapters this weekend. The exercises for each. Right on. <laughs> Put on pants before going outside. Adulty Guild Star. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Or just pick the uh, the most common advice that I hear on like uh, planning and prioritizing and stuff is just pick the most the three most urgent things and focus on those. Um, I have found that my tendency and what really drove me into like ultimate production mode, like ultimate pro productivity for myself is what is it that I feel like doing the least? Like what is it that I dread the most or have been putting off for weeks? And just, I don't care if it's the only thing that gets done today, I am doing that thing. And because once I remove the dreaded thing, whatever it is, usually putting laundry away or like just something that feels like this huge, big, unsurmountable task, even though it's like minuscule, um, it just, if I get a mental block on something and fixate and it keeps not getting done, I could have a perfectly productive rest of the week, but I still feel like crap about myself because I didn't do the thing. Um, with capital T, the thing. Um, so, ooh, smush. For me, I found that more effective than just finding the top three priorities because it's like, I'm like, I can't just pick three. There's 12 things that have to be done today, and if they don't, then shit's going to start hitting the fan. Um, but if I just do the one that is most to dread. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, sometimes, I mean, I am wouldn't seem it, but I'm a proud person and don't want to always ask for help. Um, like, I'll ask Randy to do stuff for me, but it's usually crap that I could have just done myself. And it's, he, he loves, like, he's like, I love spoiling you. So, like, every time you ask me to get you a cup of coffee, I'm like, ee! And, you know, so it's, but I wouldn't just ask anybody to be like, hey, go make me a cup of coffee. Like, mm -mm, that's not how you, that's not how I people. Um, but whenever it's something that I genuinely need help with, sometimes I'll be too, like, kind of shame-faced to, to ask for help. And it's shame flourishes in dark, secret places in our hearts. So if you shine light on it by asking for help, by talking about it, 
then it withers away and something productive can grow there. Like something good for you can grow there other than shame. So oftentimes I'll be like, Randy, I have bitten off more than I can chew. Please help. And he's just the greatest. And I've been real lucky that I've got, I've got friends that, you know, they be like, hey, I'm having a hard time. Can you help me? Because it's like, if, if somebody's going to be like, yeah, I'm your best friend, and you're like, please help me, I am drowning in my filthy house, and the dishes are to the ceiling, can you come help me? And they're like, ew, no, I'm not going to wash your dishes. And it's like, man, I'd wash your dishes, ho, why not? <laughs> like, <laughs> so that's just me, though, I guess, but. Right on, Kira. Yep. Not doing the thing for the fear of messing it up causes more failure than any amount of doing the thing and messing it up ever caused. Like, failure. That's so, like, subjective, I guess. Like, please don't ever grade yourself off of somebody else's success scale. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. but it's still productivity and that's I have a hard time with that too and uh one of my good friends has ADHD hard too and uh she's like she's telling me she's like well I need to get my makeup bag out of my suitcase well before I can do that I have to finish up the laundry that way I can do the laundry that's in the suitcase so it's like and like did it down the list of like 15 other things that need done before she can just take the makeup bag out of her suitcase and I'm like, dude, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I feel that, Gary. You are not alone. Oh gosh, it's crushingly alone, Kit. And even worse, whenever you have a friend that you thought was going to be there, and then, well... <sighs> hey, Droma, how's it going? Like, I'll even tell Randy, I'll be like, dude, I just need you to babysit me. Just make sure I stay on task. Take out the holy hand grenade. Right on. I'm just wrapping. I really like this thinner, this 21 gauge. I'm so sorry you have to experience that, Tara. Like, there's no words.
Welcome to the self chat. <laughs> The self need help chat. Oh no. Uh, bye, patio. I've still been burned so many times, I just prefer to not depend on others. I not have friends at this point in my life. My husband has so many friends, and I'll just hang with him. Yeah, Randy and I, like, we've got like. <sighs> we're very lucky to have the friends that we do have, but we're like, uh, you know, and we're friendly with everybody, but there's not a whole lot of folks that we would, like, we don't want to burden anybody with, like, our needs, if that makes sense. So it's like, we feel so lucky to have these local friends that, yeah, you can, we'll drive and help you pick up straw bales. Like, I don't know, it's just, and then times whenever we have been in, like, a really hard pinch, like, yeah, it's been really nice whenever, uh, folks have been there for us like it's, it's crazy like it inspires me to want to anytime I can be there for anybody ever it's like I am on it because like something little like uh we we helped our friend's mom move and um you know she was just like super touched she's like I don't even know you guys and we're like well, moving sucks like if us helping can make it suck less that'd be cool right? <laughs> like, you know, but it really, it was no big thing for us. For us, it was a day. For her, it made a huge difference, you know, so you never know how some small action on your part might just make somebody's day. And the thing was, Randy and I had both been through, I think, so much crap with our families and stuff that we were like, we never thought we'd be able to count on anybody. But... Here we are. And I'm not saying that to flex, to be like, ooh, yeah, I've got, I mean, I, I do, have, not to brag, but I do have, like, the greatest friends. Y'all are awesome. Um, but it's, even when you're at your low points, just have hope that there is something more. And if that isn't, if you're not seeing it in your life, sometimes you, you have to be it. You know, if nobody else is being a light shining on you, then that's an excellent opportunity for you to be a light and just radiate all that harder. Hey, Valerie. Yeah, I don't know how to socialize. Like, I, I people best when I'm either teaching or crafting or, like, in my booth. But if I'm just, like, standing in space like areas with humans it's like um I don't know what to do with my hands I don't know what words to say I don't like so I just like ask them about like oh hey what you up to like person I don't know um and if I can get them like talking about themselves and just listen like that's whenever like I can people that way but I just if people start asking me about myself, like, where are you from? I'm like, I don't know how to answer that. Like, do you have 45 minutes? <laughs> so, oh, does it? So, okay, that'd be cool. <laughs> right on, Kara. Virtual hugs all around. Dog. Oh, that's awesome, Kit. Oh, how am I going to do this? Okay. I really like conventions for socializing. It's a great way to just like... Like, having a booth at a convention was the best way to have started meeting humans and, like, working on how to interact with them and stuff. But, like, I'm an animal person through and through. Because it's once you get, like, start working through the language barrier, animals are really great at communicating what they need. They don't lie. They're not dramatic. Oh, okay, they're dramatic. 
salmons are very dramatic. Um, <laughs> yeah, same drama. We were actually talking about that earlier. <laughs> that it's like from what time frame to time frame, like in general. So, and I, I figured out that it's like most of the time people aren't like interested in my life story. They're just like trying to make small talks. So let's just like live in Missouri. And then if it, you know, spurs into more conversation from there, um, then, like, I'll start adding in layers of pertinent information. Ooh, the bead fits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That comes across about shifting the combo to be about me, so I just don't talk to people anymore. What? I don't know, have a normal conversation. Spent conversations with people about experience they've had that are similar to what they just told me about. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can, I feel super, like, hyper aware. But I'm doing it right this second. Be like, oh, you've described this situation? I've been in a similar situation and this is how I felt about it. And it's like, well, I thought that was just having a conversation. But you can never know, I guess, how, you know, what you're talking about might be making somebody else feel like or what their thoughts and feelings are. But... Hmm. Yep. I hide from humans. Oh no! But yeah, being uh, like in a booth at a craft show, like, is just the best way. Because if people, I mean, they're already there, so they're at least interested in being outside. Like, if you're at, like, an outdoor arts and crafts show, or, like, if you're at a farmer's market, then the person's at least interested in being at farmer's markets because they're there at the farmer's market. Or if you're at a convention, they're at least interested in something to do with the fandom because they're there at a convention. Or at least friends with and or related to someone who's interested in those things. So it's, I'm convinced that you know, we have more in common than we have in conflict with just about everybody. It's just a matter of finding it. And uh, being, if I'm standing there in my booth full of wire-wrapped nature-inspired jewelry, it's kind of like wearing, I don't know, a t-shirt with my favorite band on it or something. And if somebody could be like, oh, I like that band too. And I'd be like, cool, we should hang out. Like, like some of my best friendships actually are based entirely on being workaholics, liking cats, and food. Like, <laughs> like, if we have those three things in common, we can hang, like, easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it shows, worst comes to worst, activate NPC mode. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly, Kit. Hey, Jen, how's it going? In Tamara, we get along fantastically. So, <laughs> yep, yeah. <laughs> and I guess uh, by workaholic, I mean I'm just like super absorbed by the things I'm interested in and have happened to turn them into work. But um, anybody else who's like passionate, it, anybody who's passionate about what they're doing, we're going to get along because it's that passion that really like it the sparks me and is like super interesting and I love hearing about people talk about what they're into. Like especially if it's like crafty or creative or there's humans yelling outside. Person. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's, I like it. It helps me practice patience and persistence. Is there a Randy here? This one's coming out. Do we need a little bumpy bun? 
same comatose. When in doubt, craft it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was the quote I was learning this morning? Because I still, I'm going through and I try um, every day when I'm putting my creams on in the morning. I flip through um, the book, The Four Agreements is the one I'm currently working through. Um, and I just flip to a random page and whichever paragraph my eyes fall on, that's the one that I read. And today it was talking about, oh, what was the paragraph? I don't freaking remember, but it was nice. I liked it. <laughs> and it was pertinent. It was something about, um, we're each reflections of each other. I see in you a reflection of me, and in me is a reflection of you. But there's a smoke that comes up between us, and that smoke is the dream, and the mirrors are us, the dreamers. And that it's like there's so much of this just perceived and perception and imagined stuff blocking the way in between this, you know, genuine human connection that we would otherwise be having. So I really, really liked that. It was su surprisingly pertinent today. Um, probably. I'm super duper bad with names. <laughs> but Randy calls it my hippie shit. <laughs> I love hippie stuff. Like... All sorts of things. Just anything that's like mind expanding and like pro provokes thought and introspection. Like the greatest thing we can do is know ourselves. Ooh, right on. Um, they actually think they have it for free on YouTube, Sabea. I mean, the audiobook is good. Yeah. Yeah, Don Miguel Ruiz? 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 I don't know. Three years of Spanish and it... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said that in a stream once, like, four years ago, and somebody got, like, really mad at me. And I was like, please stop taking... I... Don't take me seriously. I certainly don't. <laughs> so, like, just because I'm flippant and blasé about my existence does not mean that I'm not taking you seriously. It's just... This is just how I deal. <laughs> I can't hear that without thinking Captain Picard. I think it's so. Ooh, and there's our little pumpkin. I saw a big boy of a pumpkin at King Cash Saver the other day. It was amazing. Right? <laughs> Super duper cutie. Yeah. Ooh. Super durable, too. <laughs> Ooh, last one. We get to wrap. Oh, my hands. <laughs> do y'all hear that? I need to not do that stretch instead of popping. Hmm. So this one is a bright copper owl. Excuse me, that's antique copper. Where in the heck did my stuff go? Uh, I think I, how do I have a sun? I didn't even go outside. people they take themselves way too seriously well you know th that was and my wrists <laughs> i'm super durable too i am i have my shirt on e super durable where in the heck some crap okay that's 26 gauge it's 18 gauge yeah we'll do it out of it no i'm gonna do it out of 20 gauge okay i'll be right back oh my one bones any Oh no! Oof! Stretchy. Okay. There's 18 gauge half brown. What do I not have? Look at that. Yeah. Found 
Uh oh, the pixel monster. So also this one right here is the last piece that we'll be wrapping this evening. I think I'm gonna be having to do Ah Tara, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh <laughs> I'd forgotten about the pixel game. <laughs> What's the biggest gauge you use to weave with? Um, I really, the biggest I've ever used was 12 gauge as a core wire. And that was pretty intense, but I really, really liked the way that it came out. And I did the weaving with 24 gauge. Um, typically the thickest I use is like 16 and that's American wire gauge. And that comes out pretty nice. Like I like it. But to weave with, I think I misunderstood your question. Those are the core wires. The thickest I use to weave has been 24 gauge, and I really didn't like it. Um, I, I prefer, like, I, I try to not go thicker than 26 gauge, just because, uh, for me, it's much thicker than that, and it stiffens up pretty quickly. And 10 isn't wire, 10 is considered cable, right on. That's my love, I think. Hey, honey. I'm doing my last thing and now come help. He just went right back outside. He's throwing bits for me. Y'all give me just a sec. I'll be right back. I got to go through some straw bales.
<laughs> okay guys I'm back so sorry but we had to, I was not about to gonna let them throw all those straw bales by themselves Whew. okay <laughs> roll 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 and say hey oh hey honey sorry. <laughs> yeah How's it going, my love? How's it going? Yeah. Thank you for taking care of all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, getting that twisted up. <laughs> Took a roll in there. <laughs> Just there in, front, in the driveway in front of God and everybody. Um, how many straw bales was that? Wow. Uh, is LT still in the building? LT, are you still in the building? Yeah, how many more orders were... Just oh, just the one? I can do one more. Um, no need. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, okay, perfect. Right on. Hmm. Oh, did it not specify which design? Nope. Gotcha. Okay. Hippies definitely would. <laughs> Sam. Is there a goose in there? There is. <laughs> Twisting, twisting, twisting. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of autumn in the in, after it's rained and straw. And I need to go like hug a pumpkin or something. Ooh. My fingies hurt. <laughs> after this, I'm gonna have to put on my mud boots and go. Uh, we just got the hay or the straw flung out of the bed of the truck, so I need to get it actually put away. Get critter, critters tended and all that, but one thing at a time. Pumpkin equals Randy. <gasps> I would so dress him as a pumpkin. <clears throat> right on. Uh, if you have, Mary Hart, if you have like one of those brulee torches, like a butane cooking torch. Now, I think, I don't know if you can get them at Walmart, but like, um, just copper wire from the store, like the hardware store, um, like, you can heat that up in the torch on like, a charcoal block, um, and make it soft, like if you just bring it up to like, red hot. Wow, right on, Dionica. We, all of our little pumpkins uh, were volunteers from Randy had gotten me a bouquet of pumpkins last fall. <laughs> but uh, you can heat it up and that'll anneal it to like be much softer. Now you got, might get like fire scale and stuff, but if you're going to be patinaing stuff, it polishes off. Okay. So the 21 gauge square mixed with 18 gauge half round. Ah, there is not going to be an after party tashers. Uh, too much, too much stuff on the, in the fire today. But you have a, a safe and fun trip to Michael's. We'll see ya. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
big is this stuff? Uh huh. What? What? Like, will you come tell me about it? You who have gone out into the world, what was it like? You can pull that chair over. Horrible. It was horrible? What happened? Was Pam mean to you? What just fell out? I don't know. You are just covered. Why? What is all over your pants? I'm a super tomato. Oh, Randy. Did you move one of the tomato cages? I moved three of the tomato cages. Okay, that's why you're covered in tomato. <laughs> so I was like, you ate chicken strips. How <laughs> much you get tomato on your pants? Don't ask questions. <laughs> but yeah, tell us the tale of outside, Randy. Uh, we got to Lowe's and we pulled up and there was no... No, uh, straw. What'd you, what'd you say? You're so, like, Pam's like, well... <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's fine. And she's like, we can try Race Brothers if you want. Mm -hmm. um, Izzy didn't bother checking while uh, she was here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, alright. So I pulled up there, and uh, they had like four little... At Race Brothers? Outside. Or? Okay. And was like, all right, cool. I guess I'll go in and get those four. And uh, she's like, how many do you want? I was like, I'd like nine, but I think you only got four out there. And she goes, oh, no, those are just displays. Ah, okay. And I was like, oh, all right, yeah, uh, I'll do nine then. And she's like, okay. And I was like, where do I pick it up at? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, oh, you just drive around the corner. There's a, a gate. Go uh -huh. past the gate and you'll see it. Okay. So it's like, oh, all right. So I got back in the truck and Pam's like, where do we go? I was like, she said around the corner, there's a gate. And okay. And we'll see it. Okay. And we drove around the corner and it looks like a labyrinth. <gasps> a straw bale? No. Oh. <laughs> of tons of everything back there. Okay. Without any straw bells inside. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so we're like... What did we like? There were shipping containers. There were forklifts. Mm. There were hog panels. There were mm -hmm. gate, uh, like doors. Yeah. I was just like, like, what did we do? I'm not gonna lie. I prefer supporting the Midwest feed store. Oh yeah. I but it kills me that they close at five. Like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was just like, okay, that's fine, I guess. I'm really so glad you were able to get the feed. We stayed there for a while until we finally saw someone. Oh, yeah? And was like, all right. So we drove up to them and was like, yeah, we're looking for thing. And they just ignored us and kept going. Really? So I was like, okay, cool. We'll just keep sitting here. Oh, my God. And then another truck pulled up and, like, passed us. Uh -huh. And I was like, where are they going? Uh -huh. Whipped around back into uh, one of the, like, shipping containers. Uh-huh. And then somebody walked out from around the corner opened it up and started throwing hay bales into their truck and I'm like, that's where we go! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, back off! Some of those are mine! <laughs> yeah. So we pulled up there and he's like, alright, I'm gonna need to see your, uh, your shipping ticket. And I was like, uh, do I? <laughs> so I've, I've got these two papers for the receipt. Uh -huh. He's like, yeah, that one. He's like, alright, nine of them. Like, shipping yeah. ticket? Yeah. I was like, nobody told me anything about a shipping What planet do they exist just on? throw it out the door. <laughs> yeah. Like, good. Uh. But we huh. finally got it all loaded. Okay. Did we... they help you load it, or did yeah. you guys have yeah, to? Yeah. Okay. And then we uh, drove off to the pharmacy and found out we were two minutes late. <gasps> no! Yep. So oh, my like, God. I'll just go to the pharmacy tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, Pam. I hate to have put her out like that, but I super appreciate her helping us with the... She's like, it's not your guys' fault. The truck should have been done sooner, and it wasn't. It's still. So that was today. Man. Every time I think we're having a doozy of a day, I just <laughs> think of poor Pam. Because <laughs> there's always something thwarting her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something popped earlier, remember? Yeah. And then that one's all little. I don't know where the one that popped is. Yeah, I told her about this thing, and she's like, 
Oh? Yeah. Like, yeah. And she's like, do, do I need to bring Catherine? And I was like, I hope she likes balloons. <gasps> Does Catherine? She loves balloons. Okay, excellent. It was a matter of like, does she bring Catherine over and spoil it early? Ah, well, we could go set him up in the backyard real quick after the stream. I mean, yeah, I guess we need to do Yeah. Honestly, the tiki That's torches, so what, the little palpating the, I mean, I, mean, I guess keep palpating the raisin balloons, it, but. It's fine now. The other, like, maybe if I palpate it some more. Oh, the wrinkles? Yeah. Well, yeah. They just get pruney. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking about. Oh, LT's here. I'm sorry, I was listening to a story about straw bales. Um, <laughs> LT, uh, what design would you like for your... Uh, F-flakes. Your F-flakes. Oh, goodness, what a big story. Yeah. <laughs> Sabaya says, shout out to Pam for being the MVP, right? Come here. Come here. Because, like, Come she's here. the most grown up yes grown up. Like, anytime that I'm like, I need an adult, I'm like, where's Pam? <laughs> it's like, Pam. Because this is going to sound embarrassing, but, like, Randy and I don't get prescriptions filled. Like, we just don't use any prescription medications. And we're like 30 something and apparently it's just expected that we'd know how to get a prescription filled and we didn't know how to and poor Sam needed his pills filled. So we were like, hey Pam, how do we get a prescription? <laughs> and she didn't even bat an eye. She was just like, like she's such a mom to us. It's amazing. <laughs> There's Callie jumping on the dog's head. <laughs> right on, Sabea. Okay, I'm gonna go back. All right. Well, thank you for telling me uh, all about the. We'll keep palpating the balloons. They are shrinking at an incredible rate. All of them are really. Like. Well, I'm very bad. I mean, proportionately, there's still a lot of them that are very full. There's like three. Yeah. Okay. What are there more than three? I don't know. Well, I gotta go look at the other side. I'll be right back. Why you gotta be making me insecure about my balloons? Oh, that would shrink in pretty bad, too. Yeah, it's just the three. Three out of almost 150? Yeah. Isn't bad. Mm -hmm. Hey, Margie, how's it going? No, I'm like a giant infant. It's embarrassing. Because I know, I know that I should be, like, better. Yet here I am. In all my infantile glory. Just being like, I need chicky strips. <laughs> tell us the tell us the outside, Randy. Mm hmm. I had a dime for every time I said, Why are you gonna make me insecure about my balloons? <laughs> Not gonna lie, Sabaya, I'd have a dime. I'm very curious as to what life you lead. As to what's, what's wrong with your balloons? Like, are they okay? Hmm. <laughs> Aww. Well, no, it's I, I've I've literally got like a um a balloon arch in in my craft room right now. <laughs> but thank you for being so encouraging and positive. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> What are you muttering in there to the dogs? I know what you're up to. You're not going to get away with it. Mm -hmm. Making sure he pestered you while I was gone. Not hardly at all. Z. I know. We talked about this. He's got one job, and that's to pester me. I'm not here. We're the man of Z is, really? Yes. Okay. Are. That's fair. And turn that down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so this is the last piece we're going to be wrapping today. But before we go, I do want to show you guys 
what the balloons look like with the black light on because it's amazing. And honestly, I don't know if they're going to last the night. So... Not gonna lie, ever since I grew balloons, I've been super, super happy with them. <laughs> like, no complaints on these balloons here. What are you talking about? What? My, my, my lady balloons. This <laughs> bases, I'm cashing them in. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hear you, kitty. Okay, I'm going to try to move the camera so that it gets the full view of the balloon arch without losing the stream. Oh, hey, Tara. <laughs> um, oh, well, uh, we have the, the designs listed up on the website. Oh, I wish I had them right here in front of me. So I could just let you pick right here. Um, there's some of them on the table by the grinder, but I don't know what order they're in. Like, that's why I have it on, you know, I'll just pull it up on the website right here. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay, unplugging that. Let's go, let's see, um, home. Okay. So this should pull up. Um, oh, come on. I guess we have to click it. How do I even load items? Hmm. Well, I figured out what's wrong with the website, honey. Oh. Yeah. If you buy it on just the featured items, it just has a straight add to cart instead of uh. shop. I now understand. Okay. So here we have the different designs. Trying to get it to load. Okay, so there's design one. There's design two, which honestly, I think design two is my favorite, personally. Just, I like the flow of it. Design three, another really nice one. Design four. Oh, well, it's classy too. This one's probably another one of my favorites. Design five, if it'll load. Classy. Yeah. I don't know, I like it's angular. And then design six, which has been the fan favorite so far. That's what um, we are printing the most of. Bye, Gary. Have a good night. Come on, tablet. You can do it. Do we not, do we not get design six? Well, design six is very pretty, I promise. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. You know, I think I'm actually, I'm torn between design two and design six is my favorite.
Right. Oh, did they get two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want us to just pick two of our favorites, or do you have two favorites that you prefer? Ah, okay. <laughs> right on, Tamara. And if anything, honey, I may send an email that might be less pixelated and more clear. Well, yeah, I didn't consider that. Yeah. We'll send you an email, LT. I'm sorry for any confusion that we might have caused. But I have now figured out what was going on on our website that it wasn't... Because I was like, I'm pretty sure I made it for you. Like, I had to pick which design. But with it being right there on the front page, it just adds it straight to cart. I hear you, baby. Where is that coming from? Uh, Callie is by the front door. Did I let her out? Uh, I was going to let her out whenever I go out later. Yes, right, Miriam? Okay. <laughs> right on, Margie. If he has decided he cannot possibly go another moment. He cannot peaceful for you in here. Do you like this? Another cute owl. I love, love making these. Thank you guys so much for your orders. Oh, man. What up? That tree must have been taunting her from the inside. Oh, did she just attack it again? Yeah, she, she did. I went <laughs> right for it. Okay. Like it was coming right at her. Oh, I'm so glad that you like it. Okay. Oops. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it's working. Oh my God, before we leave you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us during the stream today. You guys are amazing. These are our balloons. They're glowing and they have lasers on them. So we're gonna go set up for the Halloween party on Sunday and a baby shower and stuff. Thank you guys so, so much for, for just being you and for hanging out and being here. But we will see y'all next time. So until then, happy crafting. Bye. <laughs> All right, then. All right, then. <laughs>